<laughs> and we're live. <laughs> Chris, explain what's going on. I don't know. The I Joy is talking to me. It's just it's <laughs> what? <laughs> it's got a heartbeat sensor. No, it, it's hang on, I need to do the focus hand. <laughs> focus hand. Is it gonna focus in? Probably not. Look, it's a live review of how not to be a reviewer. Uh the camera still hates you. Yeah, it's a new <laughs> one as well. It's, um, it's got a heartbeat sensor. I put it down, it starts flashing at me. It's like, yeah, Skynet confirmed. Vape me, Chris. Vape me. I am currently set to 48 watts. It's just like, then it lights up when you press the button as well. It's got a mesh coil in it. I've already had a dry hit and it's been soaking for about nine months. And it's just, <laughs> it's weird. It's, it's reading my heartbeat when I've got it in my hand and everything. It's sentient. It knows. It knows when you're sleeping. It knows when you're awake. You, know you that, from I Joy, the CIA in a mod. <laughs> you, know, you know that's not as freaky as what happened to my hog yesterday. Oh yeah. When it nearly <laughs> killed you. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> well, got a, the Hammer of God V3. Nice. And um, got a Mass 30 millimeter RDA on it. Brand new series build, 0.32. Um, been working fine. Jay was hitting it, nearly killed him. And then <laughs> he passed me it back. I sat it on the table. I went to have a vape of it, and the um, RDA literally melted my lips. But it wasn't auto firing. It wasn't doing anything. The mod was cold. The batteries were cold. The deck was cold. But the top cap was like the fires of hell. It was your facial reaction, so I just went to take a vape from it, though, because you picked the hammer of God up and then just went... <laughs> <laughs> and then starts pulling the back seat and he's like the little, like, sort of chaos or up. I was like, are you no, okay, I've got, Shady? I've, oh, got yes. <laughs> I've got blisters on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked, I was like, are you okay? Because the mod wasn't hot or anything, and he was just like, I don't know, my fucking lips! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Becca. Right. But, um, oh, craziness. I guess we should say hello. Um, let's just go around real quick and talk about what everyone's vaping on. Starting with Shane. Right. Um, well, I'm on a bit of a mech kick tonight. I'm on a... <laughs> throwing it. I'm what on was me. that move? Did someone just tase him? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's this, it's this stuff, mate. It's mashing me up. Oh, uh, yeah. And, um, I'm on my Dreamer with me Drop RDA with Summer Blaze. Um, I've got my Admiral with Culverin RDA with some Illusions Profit that I picked up yesterday, which is oh. gorgeous. Yep. Um, Lucifer with another drop with some Legends Strawberry Fields. And the good old reliable um, squeezer, dead rabbit, with um, some mango ice in it. Uh, Lots of matchy, new, matchy setups. My new, my new me pod with some uh, good stuff in. <laughs> 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 ah, no. no. Well, let's let's present Chris, since uh, he just spilled juice everywhere. Yeah, I've just beat <laughs> you myself. He jizzed. <laughs> Do you know what? No, what I did at Vape Jam was even better. Popped a 120 mil short fill all over myself Saturday morning. So I smell like orange menthol all day. <laughs> <laughs> um, what have I got? I've got the the iJoy Skynet or the Avenger kit. <laughs> this thing is it's, it's pretty cool. It lights up and things, but uh, it's voice activated. I don't know how it the voice activation works. Please don't kill me. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Yes. So I only got it today, so I've been messing around with that for a bit. Uh, I've got the Hexome 2.1 Anarchist Edition with the Twisted Master 24 Pro on. And yes, I, I did get it re-signed by the man himself. So, uh, I spoke to him. I didn't, I didn't fanboy this time. I, it's like I know the guy a little bit more now. So he was, actually, he was actually quite good about that issue, wasn't he? Yeah. And then, obviously, the old trusty G-Class with me Cleto 120 on, which keeps going into bypass mode, and I don't know why, but it's off. Yeah, it's off now. They've got I Love VG, Summer Blaze, and the Cleto. I've got the Origins 12 Monkeys Pineapple in the Skynet. 
And then I've got the I saw my boys on the twisted as well. Met Kent at the weekend, and he's he's a legend. Really cool guy. He's funny. I like. Oh him. yeah. <laughs> and Mike, what you got? What's up, everyone? Uh, I'm on the old uh, Ripper today with the dead rabbit on top. In that, I have got five O's apple donut. I'm also on my uh, what is it? Triple X. With the uh, TM24 Pro on it. And in that, I'm on the 50 Cherry Donut. And then I've also got my Aegis with the Berserker MTL tank. And in that, I'm on Chocolate Donut by 50. Bit of a 50 theme going on tonight. That's me for tonight. All right, and I guess it's myself, it's me. So <clears throat> I'm all over the, the board today. I've got a mech, a regulated, a squonker, and a mouth to lung, and a, a disposable. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, let's start from this one here. Uh, Sanso QIU 200 watt thing with uh, Haster MTL RTA. Man, this is tough. Um, did I bring the juice? Yes, I did. Lioness, Lioness Elixirs, uh, Defender Peach Lemonade. Delicious. <clears throat> uh, this one is really interesting. This is the V Fang from Snow Wolf. And I, I replaced the piece of shit atomizer that comes with it with the Bonza. Um, if you saw my Fresh Build Friday live video, then you'd know exactly the struggle of that. Yes, um, I did say that. <laughs> and this oh, is going. <laughs> this is going so much nicer, um, and it's absolutely great. But uh, I've got two flavors: one flavor in this side, one flavor in this side. And uh, I'll occasionally just squeeze one side to vape that flavor, and then squeeze the other side to vape that flavor. But it's pretty neat. I've got Tropical Culata, Tropa Culata by Mayhem Vapor, and then I've got Silverback Lola. And this one's like a strawberry, pomegranate, fruity goodness summery thing. And obviously this one's pineapple coconut. And uh, mixes really well. <clears throat> it goes really well together. Or if you you know you just want one flavor, you can squeeze one side. It's kind of brilliant. So uh, there you go for that one. <clears throat> kind of the mash together setup. I just wanted to vape this RDA, which is a QP design Cali. Uh, so I whipped out the 21700RX2. It works. And in there, I've got a, a new one, Cali Vapors Golden Gate, an orange creamsicle. Oh, my God, that's good. <laughs> and last full setup I've got is the Stubble Twisted Purge. Uh, yeah, I'm rocking that stack life lately. I don't know what it is, but they gave me this thing at uh, National Vape Expo. So I've been using it, and I've got the Recoil Rebel on top of there with some awesome Fuse Claptons. Uh, you can't see those at all, but yeah, I've got Fuse Claptons on a series, and it is amazing. The flavor you get is fantastic. Vapor, again, fantastic. In there, I've got some Blaz Peach, of course, my own creation, and uh, it is now available on our website, unfortunately only for the U.S. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'll get it over as soon as I can. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring a suitcase to Expo. You can <clears throat> I'll just bring it. Yeah, I'll check a suitcase full of it. Um, but, yeah, it's available on the website, Daily Vape TV, uh, for 20% off if you guys want to use that coupon code. Uh, smash the like button. We're up to 100 viewers right now. And I actually, okay, yeah, now I can see the likes. So we need some serious like action going on right down there. So make sure you hit that like button. But I'm going to stop presenting myself. And Chris is going to tell us what happened when he went to go into Expo. Take it away, Chris. <laughs> uh, yeah, the people that ask, well, they're asking in chat. I very nearly never got into Vape Jam. Um, oh. Gets there Friday I meant, morning. I meant jam, sorry. Well, yeah. If I, they got into Expo, they'd be in future. Like, Stop! Flat the Android thing is still. There. I'm turning it around. It's going over there. That thing's freaking me out. Vape me, vape me. Want to vape, Georgie? Want to vape? It's um, yeah. Get there at like ten o'clock ish. Um, Friday morning walks in. 
goes to the check-in desk and says, I'm either on the press list or the VIP list because Maria didn't really specify what pass I had. Uh, so get to the desk, give me name in, and it turns out it was on the Empire Vape Co. So it gives that in. The minute I said that, the guy next to him instantly like perked up and looked over. So he said, just what was that name? Told him again. He puts the bit of picks the bit of paper up, shows his mate, and it was a big red line through the name. And he goes, unfortunately, we're going to have to refuse your access unless head of security approve your entrance into vape jam. So I was like, hang on a minute. Starts recording straight away. You see the train wreck. What that was when the vlog goes out because I recorded it in pictures instead. So there's thirty eight and a half thousand pictures instead. But um, the head of security comes down and says that I've been flagged by a company they've made an official complaint it wasn't just me it was exhale the reviewer as well he was flagged too and i didn't manage to speak to him uh flagged as a from a complaint uh from the company as you can imagine it was the icos company and probably vape around as well as they were there um but yeah security risk flagged as a security threat to the show as a potential threat to the show going ahead and i was refused access straight away until the head of security came down who happens to be a subscriber. <laughs> so that was quite funny. She come outside and was like, it's it's not you we have the problem with. It's the actual company, but we have to be seen to be doing our job. Uh, I've got to give you like a security brief. Just make sure there's no sort of feelings of animosity towards the company. You're not going to go over and start like trying to harm the stand or anything like that. Uh, it was a bit pathetic really, but yeah, they basically said they didn't want me coming in. They said to the organisers, we feel like it could be a problem. There's threatening videos being made against the company. Uh, we feel that if he's allowed in, then there could potentially be problems for customers and for the staff as well. But, yeah, luckily allowed in in the end. But it was quite funny because in the security brief, she said, can you please stay away from that stand if you can help it? I know it's obviously an open plan event and everything. So I was like, yeah, don't worry. I don't want to go anywhere near them. I, I did say to it, it's not the company themselves I have the problem with. This is the thing. It's the magazine for printing the actual article at first. Um, it just so happens to be that that was the company and whatever. But walks in, goes straight ahead to go towards Vape Finder and what's in front of me? The ICOS booth. <laughs> so as soon as I got anywhere near it, I had my hoodie on, the logo was everything. They're all over the place. Every single member of their staff instantly went like that and put their head down and wouldn't look at me. Goes to Vape Finder. I managed just to get past them, but then, yeah, later on, the Vapor Round magazine guys were there and they were given the, the sly looks and they were discussing some sort of deal at the time. Uh, I don't I don't really think they should have been there because it was Subo magazine where the media partners and them guys were walking around doing deals and getting people to sign up to subscriptions and things, which is a little bit unfair. But sees them, the head guy again, or whoever it was, comes over to them. Me and Dino were sat uh, having a pint and things, and he comes over and sort of elbows one of the girls and says, like, he's behind you, be careful sort of thing. And as soon as he said that, every single one of them are turning around, giving me looks. Um, one of the guys followed me around for a little bit while I was vlogging with the whole grab around T-shirt with their logo on. So that was pretty fun. But, yeah, Icos didn't want me a vape jam. Expo is going to be interesting because the pair of them are going to be there. We'll see what happens. Well, Ooh, yeah. drama. Oh, man. That's crazy, dude. Like, just, the, just for the simple fact that you are being targeted now yep. at an industry expo where it's basically kind of your, your job-ish sort of thing to go around and, like, discuss what's going on at these expos. And, well, I mean, it's your vlog. You can... Say what you're going to say. You can say your piece about it. And uh, I'm glad that you could get that information out here as well because that's messed up, man. <laughs> if you think about it, though, it's – I mean, obviously, they are, they are trying to create a product that they're calling a vaping product, but they're now trying to ban a vape reviewer and, and vape business, vape shop owner from a vaping event when they're a smoking company. And they were demoing the unit as well at the show. We're seeing people yeah, trying it. People were using it inside the show, yeah. yeah. So is that technically smoking indoors? The interesting thing, I did. I spoke to uh, to Nick to Grim because during his Q and A, someone said to him, "Can can we get your opinion on big tobacco?" <clears throat> and him and Ruby both answered the question, and both him and Ruby said, "As long as Philip Morris doesn't make a mod or a kit, then they have no sort of real issues." And as soon as they finished the Q and A and everything, I didn't want to obviously just get the mic and say, "You do know they're over there," because. It was in earshot. It would have caused more trouble. Even though there was many a people tapping me going, say it now, do it. I was like, no. Goes over, has a quick little conversation with him and says, you mentioned before, you you know, if there was a mod or kit created by Philip Morris, then you really wouldn't be happy. 
they're over there. <laughs> it's already been done. And his reaction said everything. He wasn't happy. So we'll see what he comes back with that. But yeah, interesting. They were using it inside. There, was a, there wasn't a lot of people at their booth. There was a little bit at the beginning. Uh, probably going to see what it was all about. But yeah, they were demoing it inside. You could try it. And I've seen on one of the, one part anyway, they did have the heat on display at the event, which is illegal. So we'll see. Uh, and welcome to vaping in 2018, or I guess smoking in 2018. Yep. I, I just think that's ridiculous that a basically a smoking company like <clears throat> like Philip Morris can come in. It's like he's like the big bully kid that just nudges his way in no matter what. Like everyone says, you know, we don't want you here. <laughs> but they just kind of mash their way in anyways. It's like, God, man. But I can't wait for Expo, man. I can't wait to be there with you and, and like, join in on this drama. I'm like... Well, the thing is, though, as well, like, a lot of people that were, were walking around, uh, I got a, a lot of people physically come over to me, but there was people just in general passing as I'm walking, like, down all the alleys and things like that that were just... in just as they passed, they were said, well, we're fully with you with the ICOS thing, well said. Uh, Summer Magazine had a, had a really fun time with it. They want to write an article on it. A couple of magazines actually want to write an article on it. Uh, Vape Life, they're yeah. coming to the shop to do a shop spotlight. So I'll be in that. Summer Magazine are going to write an article. And uh, Nick, what's the one over your ways? Is it just Vape there's, or something? There's Vape News and there's Vape Pun. Well, I went and spoke to them. It was Vape News, I think, that was there. The one with Kent on the front, in it? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Vape News. Yeah. Dino told me to go over and see them, and I'm doing a piece for them, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, I think it's it's good for other magazines that you're, you know, basically ripping apart vape, vape around. Like, every other magazine's probably like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I can't wait to be there with you guys and just like join in on that whole whole thing because I actually talked about it in uh, my vlog last week. I said, uh, you know, I mentioned the whole drama factor with you, Chris, when I did a, a little shout out for you. Yeah. Uh, I was like, yeah, he's actually kind of like in a, a battle right now with Vapor Round Magazine and the ICOS system and this and that. And, you know, if you haven't watched his videos on it, go check it out because it's really interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's fun. That's it's fun. not just me at Expo that's going to be fun with it. It's Vic. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. Double bubble. <laughs> Vic actually it's... made a post about some other magazine wrote an article, and it was like fair. It was like balanced, like good yeah. and bad kind of thing. Um, but, I mean, the, the tobacco industry is going – they're going to be buying up and buying into the vaping industry. It's happening. I mean – I'm not being funny. The amount of money they're losing through the amount of people that are vaping now, they're bound to come and try and muscle their way into it. But that that blue one-pound starter kit deal, like, they're really doing it up big. I think it's still going on. Oh, well, well for the man, first – Absolutely. Did you see the same? I don't know if you've seen it, Shane, on Friday. They were walking around with them on trays, giving them to people at first. No, so, I wasn't there Friday, was I? Oh, yeah, you went, yeah. They were, they were walking around, the girls, um, yeah. with, like, you know, the things you put around your neck, and it's like a tray, like the American football games and things like that. Um, they were walking around with them all laid out, and a couple of people were just giving them to them at first. Hmm. So they had a, quite a big stand, to be fair, Blue. And to be fair, the, the stand did look really tasteful it was a nice tasteful looking stand wasn't it yeah well I, I haven't got a problem with blue because they as much as yet okay they are backed by big tobacco and everything their product takes e-liquid and it vapes it's not yeah. got a cigarette with pg around it you know it's it's, it's fine but i was speaking to a couple of people a couple of uh, magazines and journalists and stuff come up with the notepads which i sort of had to be careful about because they went can we get an official word about icos i'm like eh. <laughs> it's just like yeah okay but I was I was I was good. I was wasn't too bad with it. Um but yeah, blue, the UZ liquid, the mod is coil based or disposable or whatever it is, the other one. I haven't tried it, but yeah, it's it's the whole ICOS thing, like I said to the magazines. It's not them as a company that I had the problem with in the first place. It's the fact that Vapor Round printed that magazine and they're the biggest magazine, it's aimed at businesses. Do you know what they're doing? So and people in people in chat right now are saying we're kind of discussing the pros and cons. It's like I, I like Bill Richards' comment here. It says none of us are arguing against ICOS, just against it being in vape shops. And I agree. 
I mean, if it's that, if that's the new cigarette, then let it be the new cigarette. But we should also be having just vape things, you know, vape events be vape events and cigarette events be cigarette events. Because in, in America, at least, there's actually a smoking expo. There's like a trade industry for like tobacco. There's events for that type of product as well. And they, but they also do invite, vape products into that, which I find kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I just think we should just separate ourselves from that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I have no interest in attending a smoking convention, you know? No. <laughs> it's certainly definitely two complete separate entities without a doubt. And especially with like the blue thing, it's like, yeah, like Chris said, it is a vaporizer. They bought, they basically just bought up Von Earl and took it over. I really don't have an issue with that. And if it gets people off of combustible tobacco, then great. At least there's the health factor there, even if you're still giving your money to big tobacco. So I don't know. It's it's still tough, though. I'd, I'd rather not see them at vape events. But at the end of the day, it's going to happen no matter what, because they got the big bucks to throw around. Yeah. I couldn't believe when I walked in and he said that. I was At first, I was angry. Then sort of gutted to the fact that I've travelled all the way down, might not be able to get in, but then I probably just went and went live outside and just protested. <laughs> but I said that to the, cause the woman, the head of security, came down and she said, uh, I'm sorry for the way you were treated by the guys behind the counter. They are nothing to do with the show. They're just staff. They hand out passes and read off a list. They're not vapors or anything. Um, she went, they're just doing the job. So I was like, yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. I've got no problem with that. Um, but when they said, oh, yeah, you've been flagged, I was like, I said to the head of security, I was like, you're sort of lucky at the minute I'm not live on YouTube. <laughs> that'll just beam that everywhere. Like, look at this. Some, Do you know who I am? I'm Empire Vape Car. I'm Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was fine. I got in. But yeah, Expo is going to be interesting because obviously it's there at Vape Around, the, the media partner. And But we've got Jay, who's the organizer of Expo on the UK Vape Show in a couple of weeks. So I think me and Vic are going to ask him the question. If they say ban them, are you going to or not? Right. Ooh. We'll find out. I still need to sort out a press pass for Expo. <laughs> you should get one, no problem. Well, I just haven't, I don't know who to contact. I'll send you this email in a minute. All right. Or when we get off the show. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Anyone have, else have any news, anything important going on? Nope. No, really. Well, Shane, Shane, talk about uh, your new project you're working on. Oh, I've actually got a picture I can show you. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, uh, two seconds, and I will bring it up. You showed me, and I was, I was giddy. I was yeah. excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's yeah. something that's, it's becoming more and more of a thing in 2018. Yeah, and it, well, I see, it's something that's not really out there on the market, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think anyone's doing what you're doing. Um, uh, there it is. The... Hold on, let me let me present you real quick. Hold it up there. There you go. That's the uh, first run of the triple 32 gauge canful with 38 gauge nichrome uh, fuse alien or mouth to lung, and it should ohm in roughly around. Um, the 0.7 mark single coil. Nice. What I'm shooting for. Nice. I'll be grabbing uh, some of them off you, Shane. The fuse claptons and the claptons, they're all boxed off. The fuse claptons are coming in at about 0.9. Um, and the claptons are uh, roughly sort of around the same. Very nice. Yeah. <clears throat> That's exciting news because we have things like the Berserker MTL RDA. Um, I think those will run beautifully in that. Well, Make sure um, there you Mad go. Hat, Mad Hat event review. She's got the first um, fuse claps and running in a Berserker RDA at the minute. There you go. And Mike just held up the Berserker tank. And I'm sure that they'll work. Is that the mini Berserker, Mike? It is, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Where's the camera gone? There you are. <laughs> I don't get why you've called the mouth to lung tank the berserker. It's not exactly crazy, is it? Uh, no. Yeah, but it's like a sleeper, you know? Like, you, you don't want to sleep on it because it, it's actually... It, you could get a good 
puff off of it. Look at, I mean, Mike right there, you know, you yep. could get a pretty good puff off of it. Mike, do that one more time. Not yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's at 0.72. If you there can you sell go. this on the script, fucking camera, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm 19 watts on an Aegis. <laughs> yep. I bet your battery lasts all day. Uh, that battery's been in there two days. Holy crap. <laughs> and it's still barely moved off the top bar. Wow. I'm still waiting. There's a dual battery Aegis yep. uh, coming out, which is pretty exciting. Can't wait for that. I've just built, rebuilt the Twisted before as I got home and it just looked wrong because of all the juices that have been through it. I just obviously reworked it before, but I've got a fresh pair of Shane's Mech Aliens in it and it's just angry. <laughs> it really is at the minute. These coils here are pretty good. Pretty damn good. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> and I That's... just got hot juice all over myself. Oh, oh you should have seen... Three. Six was it or point three eight? Uh, somewhere in that area. <laughs> I forget. You should have seen the new page, by the way. They made oh, a page called the Yeah. Oh, that thing was sexy. I oh, said to them, why didn't you bring her to advertise it? No, because I didn't just because obviously I wanted to sort of vlog it, but I was like, Why isn't she here? Just because you'd have found Vinny stood there with a puddle of drool. Yeah. Uh, they've actually used her tattoos as the artwork, haven't they? Yep. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, what is it, £350? Yeah, Ooh, start, yeah. And there's a limited edition one as well. Which is about $475? Something like that, yeah. How many pounds? Wait, what? 350 £350. About 350 quid. Yeah, 425-ish, 450-ish. 415 I think. Is that 415 420 did you say, Chris? Yeah, just, the other one... Yeah, so let me have a go of his own one, the um, dual stack twenty six six fifty mech. That nearly blew my face off. Oh, was that the enforcer? He just went, "Have a go with that." I went, "Poof!" Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh, my buddy John there? John, yeah, John was there. John from Purge. Yeah, he's the one oh, that okay. gave me this. Yeah, John's the actual owner of Purge, isn't he? No, yeah, he's, he's a guy. He's, um, he's like, I don't know if he's a partner or what. But uh, he's he's kind of up there with Purge. So I know, I know on someone else's vlog, he said that he actually owned it. He might be part owner. But uh, yeah, I, I think he's coming to Expo as well. So that's pretty exciting. Cool. Um, yeah, so yeah. Who was it? Who was it from Purge that was at the London Vape Show? That was John. That was yeah, John, he, was it? Yeah. Yeah, because I was next to them. My stand was next to Purge. Yeah. At least he had a crowd. Next to your stand, Chris. <laughs> oh, thanks. Not everyone's got Blaz. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, hey, if you had Blaz at your stand, then uh, you'd I'm be I'm changing my t-shirt. Fuck this. I'm subscribing to the TV. Who is he? <laughs> oh, uh, you, you know, know if I... I didn't have a crowd around my booth until Sunday when my Eddie Liquid won best at the show, you know. That's true. I yeah. saw, like, 25 people, like, run over to your stand after that. Yeah, the fellow who wouldn't buy it for the £10 a bottle on wholesale on Friday come back and was like, so does that deal still stand? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off. Oh, man. So, let's see. Anything else happened at Expo? Any drama? Any good stuff? Like yeah, Michelle's just mentioned what you was on about, Chris. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the, the plant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it was. it's a shame. But it is. What was he enacting, rhododendron? <laughs> uh, no, last, last time I seen him, there was a pair of DCs hanging out of Dimitri's asshole. Um, but... <laughs> More like a pansy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was it was kind of cringy to. Obviously, people are going to mention it anyway. It's not to cause any sort of drama or anything like that. But I think it was a little bit bad when you've got a Q and A with um, Peter Sardo and Dimitri, who are well known in the industry, regardless of what what people think of them, and. He said, "Is any more questions?" And no one put the hand up. And I thought, "Oh, it'll be the end of the uh, end of the sort of Q and A." And he just turned on and went, "He's got a question," and it was Vinny. And then, "Any more questions?" Oh, he's got a question, and it was Vinny. And it was just like, "Come on!" Um, <laughs> do you want to mention anything about the uh, 
what the Aries there? What what he said? Oh, yeah, the, the, I've got it on. It's in the that's actually in the vlog because I was just I walked past. And went, oh, they're, they're recording stuff. I'll just yeah, it's content. And it was when he said, "Any more questions?" No, so I got it. And he goes, "Well, we all know that the uh, the that the Aries RTA is like the best RTA on the market." Everyone just went, "Why am I am for?" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. It was just cringy, to be fair. I mean, I haven't seen any of his videos. I haven't watched them, but he came over to the vape fan, the booth to speak to Kim and completely blanked us and turned his camera around so no one's seen us. But Wait, his front camera or his back camera? Uh, I think it was Little Toe uh, HD, something like that. <laughs> but, yeah, even uh... Dino, Dino said, you know, if he says hello or he, he sort of makes any sort of, you know, reaction to us, we'll say, oh, yeah, we haven't got, we're not going to make any sort of scene for the show. But he just walked past and blanked us. So it's fine. He wants to be like that. He can. That's unfortunate. It's a bummer. Um, it, it is what it is. Yeah. So he, I got. Hmm. Go ahead. I'm not gonna say my hat is just put in chat there. She even avoided Michelle, which is a shame. But. Oh Michelle, man, Michelle, Michelle's done nothing to me. <laughs> Great. Just absolutely nothing. Wow. So. Wow. I, I, wow. <laughs> 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 I've got something new, and I forgot to mention this right here. This is not a blue e cig. This is uh, made by Naked, and it's it's a disposable. It's a disposable e cig. About three hundred puffs in one of these, and no charging, no nothing. Just puff away on it. This is uh, it's called Brain Freeze, which is their pomegranate strawberry kiwi. But oh, and menthol, and I get nothing but menthol. No, it lights up at the end as well. It's got a little light. I mean, for you know, under ten dollars, it's not bad. I think if you put these next to the blues at gas stations, hopefully people will buy these instead because I think Naked's a better brand and better, better quality product, better juice inside of it. It's fifty milligram salt neck, so it's just like a jewel. But you know, for ten bucks, instead of buying a, a pack of cigarettes, you could just get one of these and vape instead. Well, we won't be getting that, will we? No, but uh, you might get the 20 milligram version. I don't know. <laughs> you and Nick Salt, I would all I've heard from Jay all weekend. Jay, what are you vaping in that sub home? Uh, Nick Salt, yeah. Jay, what are you on that <laughs> mountain of Nick Salt? I was like, Jay, are you ever going to come down from that Nick rush you're on? <laughs> no. I don't think it's me pod like his mouth all weekend, did no. it? No. <laughs> he said to me I was in the hotel room and I was like, I really need to go down for a vape, but I can't be bothered. It means getting changed and putting my shoes behind and everything. He goes, Oh, here you go. Cushy, like he says, me pod nearly blew me face off again. I was just like, Jay, how do you vape that all day? And he was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> It was brilliant though, because Dino got a photo. There was a, a shed vending machine, like it was a, an actual shed with all like the little flowers all over. It sold healthy drinks, and Dino was walking down to we to get a subway. And he goes, "Oh, Jay, it's nice you to rent your shed out to the expo for the weekend so that you can sell some products." And we got a photo of him outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, Jay is supposedly going to join us for the last half hour of the show, so he can defend himself then. You didn't actually realize, Chris, but you know. You know when you and Jay and that lot were all dancing? Yeah. You were filmed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 really? <laughs> yeah. There was the, yes. right, there was, no one will know about this. There was this guy. Um, it's going to be on someone's vlog. <laughs> he was clearly on drugs, this guy from Clouder. Like, the DJ booth's there. There's no one around. And there's this guy, and he's just, like, all over the place. So we stood behind him and started copying him. <laughs> there was me, Dino, Little Bro Vape, Solo. And we walked around the other side when he wasn't there, so we're all just like dancing, like going crazy, and apparently someone's vlogged it. Oh well. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. Oh man. Uh, yeah, Jay's late to the party, and if anyone can pronounce Spencer's last name, I'll give you a dollar. Spencer Wolf. What the fuck? <laughs> Wolf Stein Steinhausen. What? <laughs> Actually, uh, he he popped in uh, the other day on uh, Vapes 2, and uh, Demo actually got it right, I guess. So, well done, Demo Vapes, for being able to pronounce Spencer's last name. If if Spencer asked me, ever asked me for a shout-out, it's just going to be Spencer. <laughs> Spencer W. <laughs> yep. uh, where's Mr. Devil? Mr. I've, Devil. I've messaged him, but I think he's eating. 
<laughs> Probably. It's just dinner time. Hashtag afterthought. Oh. Now, what's going oh, on over in America yeah. now with that FDA thing, Nick? Right. Uh, How's so, that going? So the FDA uh, is basically putting out a feeler for essentially a flavor ban, and they they want to know what the how like what am i trying to say they want to know like how they can approach flavors you know flavored e-liquids because you know they don't want to have to ban them but if things continue to go the way they're going with the bad branding and everything else then they might be forced into it so they're getting their it's their comment period right now and it means you have to submit your comments to the FDA, which I'm sure someone, someone, if, uh, I guess I'll do it. I'll find the link for that. But there's also another survey going around using the FDA's software uh, being conducted by Dr. Constantinos Farsalinos, who is the Italian, oh no, sorry, he's Greek. Yeah, he's he's a Greek guy that's doing uh, the, the study. He's a, 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 a cardiologist and um he is putting out this study um a little bit more detailed than the fda's comment and it's about a 10 minute survey 10 to 20 minute survey all about you know what you were uh how much you smoked before vaping how is the transition to vaping what flavor you used what flavors you use now what nicotine strength you use at the beginning what nicotine strength you use now just to get that much more data to the FDA about how flavors and everything affect people and uh, affect their choice to actually quit smoking. So that study, in my opinion, is just as important as, or that, that survey is just as important as your comments to the FDA. So for all the Americans watching right now, make sure you go and do both. And I will try to drop the links in if I can find them. Um, but to yeah, be honest, it's not only just for the Americans to do; it's for everyone to do because what happens in America with regards to a liquid will have a knock-on effect to the rest of the world. However, I must say that if they are doing this with IP addresses. So, if your IP address is outside the United States, your comments and your surveys won't count; like they just won't matter at all. So, unfortunately, it is only for the U.S. right now. But it's very, very important for all U.S. vapors to go do this. Good news is they were expecting uh, at least 30,000 total participants in the like the 90 day period. And in the first three days, they got over 10,000 uh, participants. So I am assuming by now it's been a, almost a week. There's going to be probably double that. So hopefully about 20,000 uh at the one week mark which would be really really good so i'm 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 shooting for ninety thousand plus you know i really want to see this uh, a lot of people take this survey so um i will add that that to the chat as well let me get the link real quick but you guys can carry on talking or discuss if you want i mean nick, nick brought it up didn't he yesterday um regarding the um the flavor ban um his views with it instead of attacking the flavors they the fda would be wiser to um attack the, the packaging and make make them make the uh, a packaging standard for the industry rather than the flavors getting targeted i mean one thing he did say which i, I really was happy about and i agree with him to be fair uh, he was a vape jam last year obviously he was a vape jam this weekend and he said that the packaging and most things had improved a massive deal which to be fair yet yeah, some of the stands were still borderline but it's starting to change a little bit mm. i mean there was stands obviously selling sweet flavors with boxes of sweets which is mm. but these events you've got to be 18 to get into them anyway so yeah It's, it's obviously to, vape shops and stuff that's the problem, but yeah, I and mean, you have to prove that when you purchase your ticket, don't you? Yeah, I actually seen the the people on the the door, you know, the two women that were doing the bag checks and things. Yeah, they asked to see ID off a couple of people. There was a couple of girls that walked in, and they were dead surprised and stuff. And when they showed that ID, they're like, "We're thirty two. They looked about <laughs> six. <laughs> Not a bad compliment, though, is it? Being ID at thirty two. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some people just age well. I didn't even get ID'd at 
16. <laughs> I must admit, by the time I was 16, I looked like I was about 60. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you'd have, um, you'd have loved one of the... Oh, well, Jay got one. Uh, Thor juice for giving hammers out, so Jay actually has a ban hammer now. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, he, no. ran, he ran over to me and hit me with the hammer, and I went, you can't ban me, I'm a mod. <laughs> <laughs> Then he comes yeah, but... over, hits you with it, and goes, it's not a fucking shed. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he doesn't have a Nightbot with him, just like a floating little drone <laughs> with its no, own that... hammer. I was that talking to Tom. Thing of his is freaky, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> Well, I was talking to Tom because he said he's got his own little graphics company on the go as well. And Josh, obviously, Josh is the one to corrupt because he's hilarious. He was saying he's going to make like little floating flying sheds and stuff with his face on them so he can edit them into videos and things. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I was good to Josh have to get off on Friday. He had to go to work, but he was, he's one funny guy. Him. Oh, yeah. I mean, when we had uh, when we were supposed to have Tom on, we ended up talking with Josh more than Tom. Yeah. <laughs> well, I loved it because after the show it was even when the show was on. To be fair, um, Tom said it's it's cool if it was like some something else that wasn't associated with us. Then he'd have probably had a little bit of a problem with it and things. But towards the end of the show and on the way home, as soon as the the show finished, Kim just put her Empire hoodie on. I was like, yay! <laughs> I like how Kim reps for you and I both, Chris. She's yeah, she had your um, long sleeve on with her. Yeah, <laughs> you two need to do a collaboration hoodie or something. Empire right? on one side, Daily Vape on the other. Just intimate on one sleeve and pie crust on the other. <laughs> or what's up, vapors? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have any memes for my channel. I'll have to, I just have to turn me into a cartoon doing the impression of him. Oh, I can do it now. I've got the t shirts on. He's just really comes <laughs> What's up, vapors? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> you do. You come forward and it's. <laughs> See? <laughs> Fly out and then up, well, and then okay. you do the rootin' tootin'. Yeah, right. Fresh build. I tried to tone it down lately. It's fresh build Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just made a bit of ginger hair, Diana cowboy hat. Oh God. Speaking of ginger hair, Chris, see your, your beard in those pictures is very ginger. Yeah. Your no, beard is I getting need, lighter. I need just for men. <laughs> I won't talk about the other ginger beard that I saw over the weekend. Uh. <laughs> Shane knows. Did you see my clone? What? I had a, some sort of clone there. One of the guys took a photo and tagged me in it. It was like me. It was, it was weird. Not, a, not, not you... as funny as the Rip Trippers clone we saw. Oh, you had Rip Trippers <laughs> clone and you had Gear Best Grim Green outside. Your best Grim Green. <laughs> Wait, was he Chinese? No, he, he just looked exactly like Grim Green. I was going to go over it, but I, I thought I might, it might get him like people might turn around and start running or something. We were talking outside, and I was like, it's a Grim Green clone. It's gear best Grim Green. I went, do you reckon I go and get a photo with him and go, oh my God, it's Grim Green? But then he might get a little bit offended if people start coming over. But... <laughs> Screw it. There you go, Chris. I'll post it out to you tomorrow, mate. <laughs> Wait, I do you reckon that Jay just uses just for men on those two little stripes? Just no, Jay J- just got a new one called Badger Be Gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not fair. He can't defend himself. <laughs> oh, we do Wait. need to get the photo of your clone. You have a clone who works for wholesalers, and it's just Asian Nick. <laughs> Why am I Asian? He's got the same beard, same glasses, everything. <laughs> God. I'm going to shave before I go over there, and I'm going to wear my contacts. It just completely changed my whole style. But then no one's going to know who you are. I, was gonna say, I, I won't recognize you at the airport if I'm picking you up, Nick. <laughs> no one knows who I am anyways. It's fine. I didn't. I think I got recognized like once or twice, maybe. Like... At the, at the last London vape show, I was I was kind of bummed. I was like, oh, <laughs> people took my stickers, so I guess there's that. <laughs> I think you'll be recognised a lot more now. Yeah, I hope we so. Had a, we had a, we, we had a famous rapper at our show, didn't we? Yeah, he's he, I got an interview with him. He's well cool. Yeah. You stand. Got to use the new bandy peoples. <laughs> a famous rapper, not just any rapper. A famous rapper. 
Yeah, well, over here anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he's called Professor Green, so him and him and Nick were getting on really well. <laughs> yeah, the me pod as well, the Grim Green me pod. Oh, of course. <laughs> on the gold chain. Yeah. Oh. Just to bling it out. It was cool. His juices are quite nice as well. I was, I got the footage off before and looked at it, and it's come out really well. And I got to try the uh, eighty watt reg pulse with the Vandy chip in too. Really good. Awesome. I got to try Tony's pulse in California. Tony mentioned you. Oh, yeah. He watches the show. Yeah, he was on the show. I know, but like <laughs> when I when I stopped filming and stuff, I had a little bit more of a conversation with him and that. Uh, like just like casual stuff. He was like, oh, how's the show going? He was like, you guys got Nick on, haven't you? He's a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, I've known Tony since before he started his YouTube channel. I love Tony. His new flavor is gorgeous as well, the cereal one. Oh, right. yeah, he was saying about that on the show last when he was on, wasn't he? Well, he had it on the Pulse that was the, the RDA on it, so I tried it, and it's just, oh, it's so good. Well, I must admit, I want to try that tropical one he does. That's nice. Um, well, I, I stock it. When I can get more stock in, I will. But um, Signature Tips only had like very limited numbers, so I'll just put another order in when I get back. Right. I come back with so much juice. It's like, yeah, what'd you guys get? Like, come on, I want to hear stories here. Um, I got pretty much every bottle of juice that was on sale at the show. <laughs> no hardware, because there was no hardware hardly there. No. Oh. I only got one freebie. That's it. <laughs> only one? Only one. <laughs> It was an expensive one, but I only got one. Uh, fair. Yeah, this oh, stuff's really you, good. I, I had to check out before uh, you checked out their stand, Chris. How is the new dinner lady? Oh, the Guava Sunrise is amazing. I got given um, the little travel case with them all in. <laughs> the lunchbox? Yeah. <laughs> uh, got given that. Uh, Bunny, no, I didn't. He wasn't doing autographs. He was just doing pictures and with lots of women. But, uh, um, yeah, I got this. And then in one of the new boxes, tried it. Goes back the next day and said, I need to buy a bottle. It's that good. I need to buy another bottle because I've nearly gone through this already. That's pretty much empty. And he went, you don't buy juice off us. Here's another one. I was like, no, let me pay for it. He was like, no, here's another one. But yeah, I've got every single one of their flavors, every Vaptasia flavor, which was quite funny because uh, he gave me killer custard and he went, you'll love that. I was like, yeah, it's not a man name. <laughs> <laughs> But it was, it was funny because, like, I was winding jail, uh, vaping with Jay. I tried it and was like, "Yeah, it's not as good as mine, Jay." <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It was. There was no hardware at all. Hardly. Was My Mervin God. there with dinner ladies? Ew. Mervin was he there with the dinner ladies? Lot. Uh, I don't. I don't think I spoke to him. But all the guys that I know, like staff and stuff, they were all there. All I know yeah. is my my car all the way home just smelt of killer custard. <laughs> it's all Which, Matt was. It's all Matt was vaping in the back. Chris's, uh, all he was vaping in the back, and it was just overpowering every mine and my son in laws in the front. Oh, it was brilliant because them two walked. Uh, I was doing like a little um, just walking around thing, and them two come out in front of me and turn around. It was just two t shirts and pie crust on the back. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, I saw I saw people rocking your gear there, Chris. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. There was quite a few wearing the Empire stuff, actually. I wish they're I could get funny, They're being banned as well. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, there's Empire. Get them. <laughs> the Empire family. There you go. Hashtag don't ban me on the back. There you go, Chris. There's your next one. <laughs> next T-shirt, yeah. <laughs> uh, hashtag Empire ban. Yeah. <laughs> ban hashtag, not, uh, hashtag terrorists. <laughs> I'm going to make one. But... <laughs> I'm going to make a t-shirt and put the FBI logo on and just put on the back, hashtag security threat. <laughs> Vaporist. Vaporist, I love it. Imagine I go back to America in like the airport or something, say, so this IQOS company. Just like, oh, no. You know what, you mean you didn't pick one up for free, Chris, there, for a review? <laughs> well, we, well, this is the thing. We tried so many times to get one because uh, one of the magazines there, obviously don't mention it just in case anyone's watching, but one of the magazines approached me and went, if we get one, can we both break it outside? I was like, hell yeah. So we tried sending someone over with a normal pass on. We tried getting one with a press pass. We tried getting one with an exhibitor's pass, and he just would not give us one. Well, we were going to smash it up outside on the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because you guys are 
fucking children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smash it. <laughs> the thing is, I said, well, then we've paid for it then, so we've already given them the money. And he went, it's worth it for the content. <laughs> you should have asked me, Chris. I could have, like, I could have, been, like, don't be disa- discriminating to disabled people. Let me, be, let me get one. Plenty of probably knew you were as well because a couple of people came up to me and went, Shane's here, isn't he? I've just seen him. And I was like, Yeah, he's over there. The big fucker rolling round, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, it is Leighton just coming chat. Leighton was, was starstruck. Leighton loves uh, Tom's raps. So he video calls me and I goes over and says to Tom, because Leighton wants a Tom's CD for his taxi. And I go, Look who it is. And he just does this three minute freestyle and Leighton's in the background just going, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got Professor Green to say it to him as well. That nearly killed him. <laughs> Should have a rap battle. Professor Green versus Tommy. Live. That would be interesting. <laughs> I was I was quite happy that Grim Green's now got one of three big boy coils, vape towels. So. Yeah. <laughs> he loves those vape towels too. I know. He always has them on his trousers, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. So, he was cool. very busy this weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I tell you what though, I think it was quieter than last year. Yeah, I mean, I think it was they didn't sort of plan the entrance very well because obviously when it opened, you've got all the companies that want to give their free shit to people. You had all the official press doing their vlogging stuff, you had all the reviewers behind them with all their cameras. And like when they let them in, the people got to like the entrance, and then it was just P Vapor. Their board was there, their big stand. You, you couldn't get in, so they were all like, Yay, oh, we can't get in. There was, there was no goodie bags as you went in this year, was there? Uh, no, but there was, I got it with about 50 drip tips. Because um, last year they had the, the goodie bags with the vape club goodie bags, didn't they? Yeah. Hi. Jared, all right. Well, it's Mr. Pornhub. <laughs> Mr. Pornhub. <laughs> What's up, bitches? <laughs> if, you, if you mixed, if you mixed, if you, if they came out with a, a SoundCloud version of Pornhub, Jared would be a star. Yeah, all you'd hear is, "Oh yeah, the goats in the house." <laughs> I reckon that's the place the Alex like. After show. <laughs> Jared, I, could, could you do a, a voiceover for like my favorite scenes? <laughs> Just both. Oh both man, parts, both part. <laughs> you know th- the best part is, is you'd have to hit me first thing in the morning because I have like such a Barry White voice when I first wake up. I'm just like, <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that Jared was was the one who provided the voice for the DJ feature on the keyboards. Oh Jesus, yeah, bass. <laughs> 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 That, didn't you go up the keys and it was like getting hiding and all of a sudden that big fella just came on and you'd, you'd be like the woman going come on and then next thing it was like that's jared <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so jared what's going on man we haven't seen you in oh a bit. god dude i've been jonesing to get the hell back onto a show dude it's just my kids surgery and everything just like life has been sideways but it's we're back in action man <laughs> everything got all right for him dude oh yeah 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 he's healing up really good they had to take a piece of bone out of his foot about that big oh so yeah it was a it was a shitty deal man he's healing up he's walking around he's still in a boot but we take him back to the doctor on monday so well tomorrow <laughs> and mike you would be proud of me man i know that you pointed it out but yeah yeah a nemesis with a triple 28 on it <laughs> that's fucking 2650 uh huh. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad. All right. So, <clears throat> you're rocking that setup. What else you got? Oh my God, man! I've got like twenty going right now. It's insane. Oh, um. Boy. Oh Christ! All right. Well, I'm running four mech squonkers, which is like a crazy new thing. And yeah, there's a couple of clones in here, but uh, one of them is actually hard to find. The little Frankenskull clone. You can't even uh, find this damn thing anymore. But uh, yeah, I've made a few modifications to it because the original design sucked ass. But uh, yeah, I got a Pulse 24 on that. And I swear to God, my new juice company, which I hope the FDA doesn't destroy them, but it's Seven Star E Juice. Oh my God, I love this juice company. Um, Let's see here. Got an Athena with some silver back in it. Uh, got the Boxer clone with some original sin from Seven Star, which is apple pie filling. It's wrong. <laughs> um, I got another. 
Yeah. Pie crust. <laughs> yeah, the crazy part is there's no crust to it at all, man. It's <laughs> the apple pie filling. It's like, oh my God. Uh, got another Athena with a Fit Cloud Condor running some glass. What is that? Glass vapor blueberry cake. Nice. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. My prized possession right now, the Falcon. Crazy enough. My first uh, company sent item. Ooh. Love this tank. Yeah, I know, man. They, they were just like, hey, you want to review this? And they sent me six of them. I was like, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah, dude. One. <laughs> hey, hold Better on. be really good, that Falcon, as well. Oh, God, That's is. the Horizon Tech one. Yeah, Jared? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah, they sent they sent me six of them in a ten pack box. I was like, uh, the the only thing they said is they wanted video documentation and be giving at least four away. So, I've got a giveaway coming Tuesday. So there's four of them in there. Holy nice. shit! I can say yeah, <laughs> yeah right, man, right. Who's yeah? Hey, I say it all the time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got the weirdest setup ever. I had the Elite eighty watt, the Orbit eighty watt with a freaking OBS engine on top of it. Total <laughs> non matching setup. Um. And Nick, I took, look, man, you had me curious, and one of my subscribers sent it to me, that damn lift tank. Ugh. That is a weird son of a bitch, man. It's, <laughs> it's so weird. ugly. It is ugly, and it's leaky. It's not oh. not, not not the greatest. It, it's, it's functional if it stays upright at all times, and you get the air adjusted perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's still, I feel like it's still not quite tight enough. Like, you no, need a real no. restricted, like, direct lung draw. Yeah, yeah, you really, well, and that's honestly, I, I've tried a goon. I've tried the um, the Twisted Messes RDA squared, the Cosmonaut. I've tried all sorts of different things on it, and the only thing I've gotten to work is that Dovpo Bruce, because it's really restricted. So, <laughs> yeah, I tried it with a Kennedy, uh, just because it fit properly. Mm -mm, yeah. Not the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, I got a 22 on there. It said it could do it, and as of yet, that seal hasn't leaked on top. So I was like, well, okay. <laughs> That's pushing um, it. It is. It is. It's like, I think if it was any other dripper, I probably wouldn't work as a 22. <laughs> um, so what else? We got the uh, RDT, or uh, the, God, the RDTA Plus. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> the Steam Crave Aromamizer Plus on my V-Boy. Got another Aromamizer Plus on my Vape Sig Creator, which I love that mod. Good mod. Chris will hate this. Chris will absolutely hate this. A Titan on top of the V200. What the hell is that? <laughs> I oh, yeah. Like <laughs> well, the crazy part is, is if you look at it from the front, it looks great. And then you do that. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, okay, I parked my car on top of my mod. All right. <laughs> I got a mod father on top of a Gen 3. Good uh, God. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm telling you, big tanks, man. Uh, I got a reload with a Manta glass on top of the Tesla Punk. Um, God damn it, they beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Kylan. Everybody blew me up about getting a damn Kylan. So I got a Kylan and I've got it on top of my switcher. I actually like that tank. So many people bitch about wicking it. It's freaking oh, easy. God, God it's so easy to wick, man. I mean, like, I was surprised. I was expecting a nightmare. The only and then the, muck, the only reason my Kylan went in the bin is because the green paint started chipping off it. Yeah, I heard that's an issue. I heard the black, actually. The black is, as far as the painted ones, is probably the better paint, which is why I got that one. And then, honestly, my new favorite dripper, the Rapture. Oh, my God. I love this thing. Wait, it's a little older. A, is that a metal cap? Oh, no. I don't have the Rapture. I have the Redemption. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, this is the bottom and side airflow one. Yeah, oh, it's, weird. it's a bit of a weird. It's weird when you first look at it, in it, the Rapture. It's like. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in in the bottom, the bottom airflow is so shallow. I mean, you got to be damn careful dripping this thing. But Jesus, the flavor off of that damn thing! Yeah. And of course, being the smart ass that I am, I had to stick it on the, the biggest piece of shit mod that I have. So <laughs> I'm gonna do the review is gonna be like that too. I'm just gonna be like, fuck it, Rolls Royce hood in or hood ornament on it. You go. <laughs> the G150 wasn't that bad. You know, my only problem is not with the hardware aspect of that mod. It's the damn firmware. The firmware with that alien chip is so problematic. This one, like like an Alien 220 that I had, it just randomly turns on, randomly turns off, turns itself up, turns itself down, locks, unlocks, changes the power settings. It's just like, just out of nowhere. It just freaks the fuck out and just does whatever it wants to. So, so oh, what else? Yeah. Someone asked in chat if you're actually vaping all of those setups yes yes <laughs> i know it sounds insane but i swear to god i pretty much just go down the line and vape them i really I do is, 
I see his Instagram post most day, and it, the whole desk is full every time. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. yeah. It's, it's seriously like I've got a rig set up for my for my table cam, and all of the gear that I'm on, whatever I'm using, goes inside of the border of that rig. That way, I it know looks, not to fuck with anything else. It looks crazy when he puts it on Instagram. <laughs> oh, it is because uh, because my memory, I've got memory issues, you know, so I have to keep each bottle of juice with the device so I, so I don't forget what's in it. And so, yeah, this whole section right here is like a bomb of vape went off. It's, you know, I mean, I've got a couple more I'm vaping, but they're kind of, you know, back end things here. So that's <laughs> the back end things. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Back that ass up. <laughs> <laughs> nice well, to see you getting into the mech life though, Jared. You know what? Look, you told me, you told me what three months ago you were like, it's going to happen. And I was like, no, no. And you're like, it's going to happen. You're going to try one. And you're going to like it. And this yep. was the one that I tried, that damned Athena that I got from uh, Alexandra. <laughs> and I was like, I'm looking at this thing, and I'm like, I'm going to blow my fucking fingers off because I'm going to do something stupid. And yeah, now I got five. So <laughs> I'll, make, I'll, uh, I'll make sure there's some uh, suitable mech coils then that come along in your pack. Oh, so point. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So he's going to send me some point zero sixes. No, 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 no. he's going to be like, you didn't like that pinky anyway. <laughs> no. Actually, uh, I'll send, you the, I'll send some, you the same ones that I send Mike. Someone asked in chat, Jared, what's your Instagram? If you would be so kind oh, as to post it. The vaping goat. It's just at the vaping goat. And uh, I try to keep everything simple. I don't have you two as moderators. So if you want to type something in chat, you can type something and I'll add you as a moderator. Oh, I can totally do that. And uh, hi, Vic. Yes. Hi. How you doing, Vic? Get well soon, dude. Oh, sick. What the hell? Is that Yo Yo? Oh, my God. Yo Yo. <laughs> yo Yo. Hashtag Zilla Kids Club. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just sends them a message called Dongzilla. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. There you go, Jared. This is a set of uh, Shane's mech coils. The hell? Holy shit. What tripper Safe is with. that? Safe that's dead rabbit. Oh, it's a side view. It threw, threw me yeah. off. I was like, what? Now I'm just there. running down my hand. Oh, the aliens <laughs> or the staples, Mike. Uh, the these are actually a set of aliens. Aliens, yeah. Why is my moderation thing not working? I'm trying to hide people and it's unhiding them. Someone's just said you're 14. I'm trying to hide. Go away! <laughs> <laughs> so, here, Mike, this is on that little Franken skull after my modifications. This is 0.15 build. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's hateful. This, oh my God, I love this thing. I, um, I had one of them clones. All I did was change the 510. Uh, I had to make I had to make an adjustment to the 510, and I had to make an adjustment to the contact plate, and I've got a uh, aftermarket squawk bottle in it. Plus, I've got I bought up the last five uh, Sony VCT five A's that uh, lithium ion had because I've been waiting for them to restock them, and as soon as they did, I bought all five of them. So, yeah, <laughs> and then I've got a set of point uh, one five uh, fuse Claptons in it. It's pissed. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, uh... Are you liking that boxer clone? No, I mean I am, I am, but I'm not. The problem is, is that it's got, it's got some issues. Uh, for one, they send it with absolutely no magnets in the door, so as soon as you try to squonk, the door immediately pops loose. Right. Uh, for two, the bottle that they send with it, I think, is something from like a Elmer's glue bottle because it's just hard plastic and it sucks ass. So I had to kind of modify the contact plate, and I bought an Athena squonk bottle for it so it would fit and actually be useful, yeah. and. And the uh, the contact for the 510 itself is it's shorting a little bit more than it should because it's actually starting to heat up. It with whatever build that I've put in it, it heats up the button and it's actually melting the backside of the button. Yeah, but it's to like, mine. yeah, it's like the that. cheapest fucking plastic ever for the button. Yeah, the yeah. rest of the mod is great. All right, try and get yourself that the squeezer. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have two on the way. <laughs> Solid. Solid mod. Yeah, you don't do yeah, anything half-assed, do you, Jared? Uh, no, man. No, no, I'm I'm a go bigger ho go home guy. <laughs> Just don't use that printer on it. <clears throat> what trip is that, Mike? That's the GoCon. What the hell is a GoCon? Yeah, no shit. What is that? <laughs> you I have can't me intrigued. Made it now. 
Well, Danny, you can't, man, that's just like yanking on me and then leaving me hanging, man. Come on. <laughs> the box is in the drawer down here somewhere, I think. <laughs> no, it's not. It's up there. Hang on. Yeah. I think mine's been used as an atomizer stand. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, oh, it's a VP, Dan. What? Anyway, I'll present you Zoop. Oh, my God. VP Dan, make it. I've never heard of, heard of it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bloody focus. <laughs> Online focus piece of crap. <laughs> so uh, uh, there's a new meme in the Sabs meme group. Um, <clears throat> if you're new here, I highly recommend you go check out the Sabs meme group on Facebook because there's some amazing Photoshoppers in the uh, chat here tonight, including uh, one of my favorites, Eric Stockton. He actually yep. did... Uh, but I love Eric. <laughs> Eric is such a cool dude. <laughs> he did a, a LVC Nightbot drone meme, which is hilarious. So well done there, Eric. And uh, for all you guys, feel free to screenshot and meme the crap out of us and post it in those groups, or in that group, because that's just kind of a for fun sort of thing. We just take the piss out of everyone, and it's a good time. <laughs> but the memes that go on that Vape Stew page are fucking like they're beautiful oh, yeah. oh my god they're great <laughs> uh oh yeah jared you can pimp your link uh actually i'll add your link below uh after the show's done jared uh, cool i do have shane's link in the the description right down there if you want to subscribe to shane shane did you get a video out yet <laughs> not yet they are coming they are coming i keep saying it but they are now i'm now i'm now i'm fully set up with the mic and everything look like, you know I'm all, all hooked up now. And by the um, way, Shane, your picture with Michelle was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I saw that and I was like, oh, that is so Shane. Jesus Christ. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> go big or go home. Right. You know, I'm telling there you. It is. Just go America. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, stupid camera. There you go. We got to get Jared over there too, so at some point. What? Oh God, <laughs> I, dude! I'll go to jail. I promise. <laughs> I'll get off the plane and just be like, "What's up, bitches?" And they'll just be like, "Nope, just throw him in lockup. Get the fuck over with." <laughs> just make sure you look like a, the all, ultimate tourist. You got to have a big, like, big straw hat on with like some bib overalls. Yeah, bib overalls with a flannel yeah. shirt. Like a some, fanny pack. Some work oh, yeah. boots, a fanny pack, a camera around your neck, like, oh, look at that son bitch over there. Click. <laughs> I'm just waiting oh, yeah. for this to type. It's not a fucking purse. <laughs> <laughs> right fucking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we miss Vic. <laughs> Dude, I'm minute. sorry. Right now, the way his voice, the way the way Vic's voice sounds right now, he sounds like a broken Catherine Hepburn. I love him to death, man. I feel so bad for him that his throat's so fucked up, but man. Oh, wearing Crocs. Oh, you hater, James. You hater. <laughs> I would so do it just for you, though, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> I would Especially, hate myself. <laughs> so I, gotta, I do have to give a special little shout out to James Franklin because he is pretty much the number one cheerleader for, like, all of us. So oh, James is cool yeah. as hell. Just the Good most luck. massive Good shout luck, out. James. Yeah, he is cool. I'm just figuring out how to get this fucking thing working as well. It, it picks up your voice now and stuff. It starts changing color when you're talking to it. It picks up your oh, voice. Shit, that. <laughs> you play, so if I play music, it should. It, it, what? It's weird. I'm going to tell you, dude, you're going to use that thing for like four days and all of a sudden you're going to wake up and it's just going to be like, hello, Chris. <laughs> Chris, does it talk back? I know what it is. I enjoy have reincarnated Stephen Hawking into a mod. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, on about Stephen Hawking's right? do you reckon they buried him in his wheelchair? Oh, Jesus, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wheelchair should go in the, like, the, you know, Smithsonian Museum or something. It should be in a technology <laughs> museum because that thing was just an incredible <laughs> piece of engineering. It was pimped out. Yeah. All they needed was some chrome spinners and it'd be on it. Yep. Exhibit look, done a good job with that wheelchair. <laughs> there's only look, look, there's only one downside to that wheelchair, okay? And I'm just gonna be the realist and the asshole about it. Dude, that guy never came out of that chair unless they were bathing him. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, ew, ew. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you know, it's that kind of thing that I prefer not to think about, Jared. Exactly, so though. Yeah, exactly, though. That's you know, definitely I'm, a hashtag look. stinky seat in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm know just saying, can... though, man. See, I'm, I'm not a glasses half full or a glasses half empty guy. I'm just, hey, the fucking glass is there. You know? <laughs> I, I just wonder if it smells as bad as Mike's chair. No, nothing smells man. as bad as Mike's no. chair. <laughs> <laughs> Mike oh, sits on his chair and the room just goes green. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've not, not had Nigel Mansell's autograph yet. <laughs> Oh God! You say Damn, yet. I like how you say yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Woo. All right, uh, um, Chris. I want the fucking voice function to work on that thing. I want you to get it to work. Oh, it's no. working. I just play the music and it starts going with the music. It's oh, so chill. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, but you can talk to it. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to get this up right now. I've got the voice controls for it here. I know what it does. Get it done. Say something to it. It's got an intimate light. Yes! Oh, <laughs> <my> yes! <laughs> oh I've got to see if this works. Hello, iJoy. No, it's not working. Chris. No, it's not, <laughs> it's not doing anything now. Hello, That's iJoy. Right. Romantic light. It's not romantic at all. It just starts going into all the colors. It's, it's a little bit romantic. Just shut off the lights in your room, Chris. There you go. Yeah, it does work with music. Like, I, hello, <laughs> I joy. Shut down. There you go. It goes off. Done. I, I would laugh if it talked back to you and it had a Scouse <laughs> accent. I wish it did talk back because then I could put other people Fuck in it out, <laughs> Alexa, have a fight with I joy. <laughs> oh. One of them starts smoking. <laughs> I don't see what they've done on the screen. There's like a car, and its wheels are the battery symbols. What? It's a bit cheesy. Yeah, the screen's got a car on it, and then the wheels are your battery indicators. Like how many what little the... bits on left on the tire? Well, show it off, come on. What the they hell? Look, they look more like a trivial pursuit piece, don't it? There you go. See? Ya. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's really hell. corny. Look at the heartbeat sensor, though. Oh, fuck. That's so creepy. It's not right at all. Dude, I shit. would shoot that damn thing. <laughs> it, it's it's freaking me out. It keeps on lighting up and stuff. If I put it down and looking at me, it's like, Please. well, okay, it's gonna start playing the casualty theme tune soon, isn't it? <laughs> here, here it in lies one major though. problem. Here in lies one major problem. Though. It's an iJoy product, so it's only gonna have like about a sixty percent success rate anyway. So can't be as bad as Smock. Oh no! It's got a soft mode on it though. Oh no, it does not. Hashtag does. soft mode. <laughs> <laughs> you the power. Uh, um, I joy will uh, take over the world. <laughs> oh my god! Here you go. Normal, hard, soft, or user. It has oh. soft mode. <laughs> when it's a soft mode. It's no good when it's soft. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! It's yeah. no good to anyone. <laughs> Beat it with a rubber <laughs> You know, it sucks. I didn't do my uh, Vupu 2 review before the whole, like, ban Vupu. Like... Oh, Vupu. The Vupu stand was dead all weekend. Yeah. Yeah, they've been like that at, like, the last five shows they've been at. The only people you saw there was the occasional Asian person. That was it. <laughs> Otherwise, it was dead. <laughs> Well, it's like what's funny is like so many people are getting bashed, and I don't mean funny like haha, like shitty, you know. Um, so many people are getting bashed for still owning their Vupus and not destroying all this other shit. And I'm just sitting here like, you know what? I got two of these fucking things. I paid for them. I'm gonna use them. I'm just not gonna put them on camera. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using a mod that I've paid my hard-earned money for, or at least my my triple money for. Uh, can't even try it. Oh, oh, you poor bastard. <coughs> hey, now hold on. You're the fucking coil guy. You should be the one guy that doesn't get a dry hit, goddammit. Yeah. Oh, it's on a drip, <laughs> I've got an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> man like, down. Man, yeah, man down. <laughs> I sometimes forget how much juice my aliens drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is no shit, boy. Aliens are some thirsty coils. Mine are. It's true. The coils themselves. That's actually why the alien was like invented in the first place. Yeah. Because have, have, 
have you ever watched the alien when it's not even on you just drip juice on it and it just flows around it it's crazy yeah all, all right, right Jay. look who we got uh the badges in the house oh shit right <laughs> fucking there <laughs> where's the band hammer where's the band hammer oh i'm i'm it deflated it. It's in the horse, but I was like, oh. <laughs> don't worry. We got Nightbot on the case. Sweet. What's going on, people? How are we doing? Just got back. Had something to eat quickly. Eat? What the hell's that? What's that? Did I'm you have a sub in it? Didn't have to cost you a remortgage on your house. No, that's why I never eat. I didn't eat nothing until I got home. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped at KFC on the way home. Well, aren't you only like ten minutes away? Yeah, but I helped Tom like take the. Both down. Oh, that should have been uh, taken about 10 minutes. Well. Yeah, and he had two desks, didn't he? Yeah, but it's it's about like oh. how they are. This is Jay. <laughs> hey, Jay, there's uh, <laughs> there's something in chat for you. Well, I haven't got it up right now, so someone enlighten me. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Shall I tell him what it is? Yeah, yes. What's up for the donate, right though, mate? Oh, hashtag what? Hashtag shed wanker. Huh. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> who said that? <laughs> who, who actually said the that? Name, the name starts with a K, and it wasn't Ken. No. <laughs> mm. It's not a fucking shed. <laughs> oh, good, you can read, Jay. Yeah, that's good news. <laughs> yeah, I have trouble getting it in there. He's going to get another light box to <laughs> screw on the back of the knife. I said, you're going to get another light box to screw underneath that one that has the word wanker on it, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a fucking shed wanker. Oh, look. It's all right. I, I, I still reckon Jay ought to let me sleep in his shed at the fucking London Vape Show, save me money on a hotel, so I'm tight. Yeah, but it's like, that's it, that's in East London. you got to go all the way to yeah, West. Do you know how far it is? <laughs> yeah, but I drive a train. Like, Mate, driving or not, it's still if you drive, it takes you longer, seriously, because you've got to go all the way around the outskirts. If you go through still, the city, mate, it's crazy. It's still easier than driving from here. I am uh, so <laughs> lost at London. You're gonna Did get you really? You're gonna get lost? <laughs> no, well, I, I, luckily I met up with Riot Squad and they got me to the XL Centre, but London Vape Show, yeah, I'm getting lost. Because apparently <laughs> my fucking directions wasn't good enough then. I just, I was all right. I just drove straight into the car park. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Gas already. Jay, what are you, what are you vaping on? Oh, I'm only vaping on one thing and you lot should know what it is by now. Nick Nick Salt. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, brother. How, how does that thing stay charged? Mate, I swear to God, it done me 30 hours, and that's all I used for the day. Like, and it was in his mouth constantly. He's <laughs> yeah. it, actually got another five of them made pods under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> all the same color. Um, I just need to bring up chat quickly, because I'm shit like this. Oh, you better oh, do I'm... it quick. There's people <laughs> taking the piss already. I know, I'm right? That's why I need to do it. <laughs> I've been using blue. mine all day today, Jay. Huh? <laughs> I've been using mine all day today, and it's still on blue. Yes, I'm telling you, mate, it's banging. Yeah. I'm I'm pain free today, mate. I'm pain free, mate. That's that's wicked. I'm glad like it's working for you. I'm not touching it anymore. It makes me black out. <laughs> and you you talk about being crazy putting it in a meat pod, didn't you, Chris? Well, when you have a shark bite as big as yours, you probably need it. But <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You black out. So so what do you what happens when you actually come back? Like, oh, well, I, I tried two and a half thousand milligram CBD and it knocked Jesus. me unconscious for five minutes. Jesus Christ, <laughs> man. He woke I'm up like naked. A cow unconscious. <laughs> he woke up, Chris woke up naked next to a dead deer, like with its throat yeah. ripped open. The well, fella I, told I, me to, uh, to have one pull, so I put it in my cleats at 120 and Shane vaped it about 20 times. Oh, my God. <laughs> but Shane was so, pain free all day. I guess as long as you don't wake up with a sore ass and a fucking sore throat, you'll be all right, right? <laughs> I think oh, it's <laughs> After about the 20 minutes of it wearing off, I spent nearly £25 in KFC and after the what? I'll tell you what, though, this, 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 stuff, this stuff of Sean's tastes so much like the real schnizzle. All right, where are we? So, yes, guys, mate, it's been awesome. I've had a really good fucking weekend. Um, you're in the vlog, Jay. Am I? Well, you're in the vlog a couple of times. The best part is in the vape fan, the house, though, when Jay goes for the world's biggest shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did warn you not to go in there. I think the funny thing as well, though, is the lift, because it's just Tom's one line that will just make the entire vlog. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to trust us. It's a pity what? you weren't filming Jay hitting my hammer of God, Chris, because that would have been funny. Mate, the fucking... When he was in that lift, the wool rash. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking wool rash. Yeah, but it was funny because it looks like a horror film. I might add the horror music into that section. Uh, have you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you haven't told them about it, have you? Like, the, the lifting bit. No. All right, we'll leave it then. Like, they can watch your vlog tomorrow and find out about that. That's well, good. they can tell them anyway, but I'm just saying. It's Mate, funny. it was fucking funny. It really was. It really was. And I'll tell you who's a funny guy. Jack from Orion Vape Car. Oh, yeah, oh, he is. Oh, my is. God. <laughs> Seriously, Stop mate. He is absolutely funny. And Dino. Dino. Dino's a ledge. Oh, Tom's impression of Dino. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's impression of Dino is scary. <laughs> Although Dino fucking left without saying goodbye to anyone. All right, I couldn't me... find any when I was going. Let me try. And... Here we go. <coughs> uh, Tom, you yesterday, bro. The Tom did has ten gang impressions for all night. <laughs> <laughs> like to the point where Josh got off as well, and then comes back to the door, knocks on the door, and as we open the door, he goes, "I want to say." My and. Fucking Josh. He, oh my god. I love that guy. Oh my god. His little video. We've got to fucking put that out there. We, bro. That needs to go on YouTube. <laughs> this is up to a yeah. just for saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> a totally is. Yeah, Chris, oh. Do you know what I don't? Star. I only went and lost my fucking G class. What? What? Yeah. Are you going went, back? So, so I followed. Well, let me tell you, you the story. Fucking latest loser. <laughs> 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 Mate, that's the funniest thing you've said all season. <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking hell. I don't know what to say now. You threw me off. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> no, so, I fucking put it down somewhere. It's, I, I blame Dino anyway. Ouch. Right. So, um, I went around the show doing a few bits and bobs, and then Dino was doing whatever he's doing. He's doing a bit of promotional thing. And he, like, I put my mod down because I, I was talking to someone. He said, oh, you got to go because you're putting me off because you're going to make me crack up on the fucking video. And these lot are not getting, like, they're not impressed by it sort of thing. So I was like, all right, then I'll go. So I just walked <laughs> off and I left my mod there. So I left it on Dodo's stand and I went to, like, 50 different stands. Like, and I was like, where did I go? Where did I go? Because, you know, you know when you do a show and you do no particular route or route, whatever you want to call it, Nick, route, and you try and remember something. Oh, yeah, because I've just done that. And then you go back and then all your memories of that show just come across. Oh, but did I do it this time or last time? Or was it this run or the, the run that I walked two minutes ago? Anyway, I was nearly crying. I really was. So I went to everybody. Now we haven't seen it. And then the person that I didn't go to. And, and then I remembered, oh, I went to Dodo. So I went there. Did you find my mod? Oh, yeah, I got it here. Yeah, but you just seen me two minutes ago. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah. So, Nick Salts. Oh, my God, I'm set up. And seriously, I've got to count these bottles of Nick Salts. Seriously. One, two, three, four. I think Jay has a problem. Yeah. yeah. It's your fault, Nick. Fine. That's not a problem. That's absolutely not a problem. <laughs> Nick doesn't make the salt, Jay. You can't yeah. blame that, Nick. There should be like a poster in like vape shops now and it just say, how many did you use to smoke and how addicted to you with nicotine? It should be normal nicotine, Nick salt, Jay. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two me pods like this. Like, uh, fuck, the notes. fuck the me pods. Jay puts Nick salts on a bond bill now. Strong. Yeah, I'll do that. I've got a bit of an exclusive. So, so the new Mini Gusto pod system, or the old like the Mini Gusto pod, they brought out new flavors. They got launched here, but they're not released for sale yet. But who has some? Oh, yeah. So, there we go. Woo, but they're not being released just yet. I think they'll be released in time for Expo, though. 
But um, David from Element hooked me up with them. And um, so, mate, I've just got more Nick Salts than I can actually hold in my hands. That's one, one batch. That's, so, not even, that's not even a week supply, Jay. Mate, that's 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 another batch. That's and about a week supply. We're both of them two. Mate, seriously, I am so hooked on this shit. It's unbelievable. But... Oh, I know. I feel like you're just gonna like start drinking to them, just like a <laughs> little shot at a time. Like, woo! I, I blame you. He's building up his immunity. For, you can for... blame me all you want. All right. Yeah. Well. Until you accept it and send me to rehab, it's your fault. <laughs> send me. <laughs> send so me thirteen to steps have started. Do you know how many people? Right. So, like this weekend, uh, I got Tommy on it. Tommy went and got a gusto kit and some pods. Um, Jack from Orium. So, me and Jack, we was drinking at the pub last night with Poggy and Eno and Tom. So Poggy pulls his breeze out, and I said, oh, that's the best thing for Nick Salts. And, and uh, Poggy said, that's what it's got in there. So me and Jack was outside on, on the picnic bench vaping. But it was like we was passing it under each other's arm, like like little crackheads, like my hip. And then he was passing it back. <laughs> my hip. And it, was, <laughs> it was fucking unbelievable. I loved it, though, like, seriously. I'm surprised I didn't find you halfway through the night just with the sound of the inhales. You just turn the light on, it's just a naked Jay in the living room. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> All you see is a little blue light just blink. <laughs> oh, the next house. Nice. Well, when I said to you I needed to go for a vape, and you were like, just take a hit on that. I was like, whoa, I had a face. Just so strong. <laughs> but did you need to vape after that? No, but it hits different to normal, Nick. Like, I like my 50 milligram jewel pods, but that stuff is just like, ah. Uh... See, I can, I can chain vape Nick Salts with 20 milligram, no worries. Oh, it, it keeps up on you. Yeah, it, I don't know. Oh, I look, oh, man, I've got all the flavors I never had. Fresh squeeze, oh, pink lemonade and blue something. What's the blue? Oh, is that the Elements Pink Lemonade? Yeah, that's the that's the Emulsion Nick Salts, that one. Yeah, the, the oh, Elements, their pink lemonade is the best pink lemonade Creme. ever. Strawberry ever. whip. Yeah, but you get about half an hour off a coil after your vapor. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing. No, I'm not going to deny that fact. That is the only thing, like, seriously. Like, I think that's the only cool. reason why I've never bought the Elements Nick Salts, because if it's anything like the normal juice. <laughs> I've got the green neon gear, whatever that is. I can't remember. Strawberry whip again. Honey roast. That's a tobacco flavor, isn't it, Dino? Yeah, honey roast. Uh, do you know what? Actually, honey roast tobacco is actually quite nice. And you know me about tobaccos, yeah. I've tried a few tobaccos recently, and all I've got to say is that people are up in their game within the e-liquid industry. You're getting some really good, premium quality products out there right now. Wasn't it the tobacco that made you made me sick. sick? Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't even almost. It was. It was. You just got sick. Vomiting yeah, in my mouth. <laughs> JD, really tobacco shall I? Huh? I'll release my tobacco flavor, shall I, Jay? Dude, you want to talk about getting sick? This stuff. Oh my God. You got e juice. Dude, this stuff, at least these two flavors, it tastes like you're vaping. Like one is uh, watermelon rocks and the other one's sugar cookie. And it tastes like you're, you know, vaping like a watermelon with paint thinner. And then the sugar cookie, <laughs> the sugar cookie is like vaping, like, you know, just a basic sugar cookie with a lot of paint thinner. That's <laughs> I got I'm nauseous, man. I mean, like, I got sick to my damn stomach twice now. I'm like, I'm done with this shit. I've tried it. Paint thinner, that sounds right on my alley, that does. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dude, Tony it's B bad. Reps for them all the time. I know Tony B reps for You Got E-Juice. I'm sure they have their flavors that are good, but it's one of those oh, things. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they do. I mean, they, 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 there's no way they could possibly be as popular as they are with not having something good, you know? It's just... <laughs> I'm oh, having a very, very bad experience with mine. And then I'm going to catch up on chat and see if I can ban some people just for the crap. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just waiting for the comments to roll in. I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, talk, talking about a tobacco vape, though, honestly, uh, I've never been much of a fan of them just because they just don't have the, uh, the kind of flavor I like. But the only one that I found thus far that I can actually vape is this, uh, this Glass Vapor Butterscotch Reserve. That stuff is, it, it's kind of like walnuts and caramel is really what it tastes like. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have much tobacco. It's, it's yeah. kind of tobacco. It has like that dry earthy-ish yeah, exactly. flavor in yeah, but there. It's, it's absolutely vapable though. 
but it's masked under layer of layer of like sweet. <laughs> oh yeah. It's good. It's actually good. It's not like an all day or for me by any means, but yeah, it's not too bad at all. I find tobaccos the best in mouth to lungs. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Definitely. See, that's 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 still the one thing. Like, well, there's a couple of things that I haven't touched into, but uh, like any kind of series mech, and I don't know if I ever really will do those. I have a feeling I'll blow my head off. But um, I'm afraid, mom's. Oh, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> you you just shut your damn face, oh bearded <laughs> wonder. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but that mouth to lung, mouth to lung. Uh, like I've only done two mouth to lung devices the entire time I've been vaping, so. That's something I need to get into. Mm. I, I can't, I can't <laughs> stand tobacco vapes. I detest them. Yeah, I was the same way. The right I really ones, was. The right ones in the mouth to lung are exceptionally nice. Yeah, but it's got to be. It's got to be a tobacco that's got a sweetness to it. Yeah, I'm. I make one that's got um, a cinnamon Danish and uh, vanilla in it. Mate, that sounds interesting. That's the one you tried. <coughs> Oh, there you go. It tasted interesting. You tried it yesterday, <laughs> See, that Listen, this is what Nick Salt does to me. That so Nick Salt does like, that. He do not know what he's doing. Fucking seriously. <laughs> it's, it's not a shed. It's a badger set. Nice one. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one, that. I like that one. Oh, damn. There I'll was another well. good one earlier, too. It was uh, a wheelless Winnebago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like too <laughs> impressive. That that tobacco like one. If I could make that with Nick Salt, it'd be epic. That's what you need to do. Warp. I can get you. I can get you Nick base if you need it. Nick what, Salt Nick? base. Yeah, Brilliant. yeah. Right. How many did you used to smoke a day, AJ? Twenty. Hey, Emily. Fucking hell, 20 a day, he goes through about 50 mil of Nick yeah, Salt okay. in one day. I, I, I used to buy 20 a day, and then I used to, when mine went, I used to smoke my wine. Smoke everyone day. else's. Yeah. Jesus. I'm that, that guy. I'm that yeah. guy. And I'm that guy, if I, if I borrowed a lighter off you, you wasn't getting it back. You went to... <laughs> That's the thing I we forgot to mention before, um, when you were talking about smoking. How many vendors were coming outside to the front of the event where the queue was and lighting up a ciggy? Yeah, yeah but... It happens every time, though, doesn't yeah, it? We go for all that. Mac, Mac and I'll have a look at that in a minute, dude. Sorry to cut you off there. Uh, Chris, man, you upset me yesterday. Oh. Why? Because I didn't want you to go. Oh. Yeah, but, <laughs> I thought, yeah, but I had to get home I, it, on a Sunday with a stayed over. I've got to go via California or something like that. So well, it's just you ridiculous. You would have enjoyed that. Yeah, you would have enjoyed that, Chris. <clears throat> well, yeah. You it's just... Squeaked. You could have squeezed in my car. Chris and I drove back, dropped the lot off and carried on to Liverpool, just done another six hour drive. You know, <laughs> I was off me I was off my tits anyway on the way home. I was oh, God knows what was up with me. Well, I think next time I'll, I'll definitely do all three and, and just stay longer and come in on the Monday. But it's getting someone to mind the shop as well, that's the thing. <laughs> did did I <laughs> did I fix the turbo problem that had nothing wrong with it? Um <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> my van's knackered now so i've got to scrap it that's the long and short of it and i've got to go and get another car so yeah. it looks like i'm going to be in debt for another five years or i purchase another that's, car that sucks ass welcome to real life <laughs> yeah it's, wait, wait, you got to the petrol station and it said diesel petrol or nick salt so you know what jay did <laughs> <laughs> i filled myself up with nick salt before i done anything else <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it was really good. I was like, do you know what? I really enjoyed this show. I didn't, like, although it was Juice Jam, it was set out nice. It was laid out nice, you know. Uh, yeah, the, layout, the layout was bang on this time. It, it was a lot, lot, lot better than last year. It was more, more. I don't know right? what what it was to call it. Um, someone, more, with, uh, someone in a wheelchair. There wasn't, I, there wasn't really any stands that weren't accessible to me, which I liked. Yeah, that was yeah. that was a bit. The only downside I've got to give I've got to give this to um, the XL, and this is th this is a really bad downside to them. The downstairs disabled toilet was out of order, right? Oh, and there's only one on the down on that hall level. Uh, in that hall bit, there's only the one. So you have to go up in a lift. Right up to the the gallery bit where you look over. Remember on last year's vlog, Nick and that was up there looking down. And oh, um, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Have to go up there, and then there was a women's toilet and the disabled toilet. 
Now, the wheelchair only just squeezed through the door. I was going to say that, that them doors and that corridor up there was really tight. Yeah, but then they took the, do the door into the toilet, the chair only just went through. But as you literally, as you went through the first door, the woman's toilet door was in front of you, the disabled door was to the right, and the disabled door opened outwards. So you couldn't actually open the door at the same time as being, it was just an absolute nightmare. <laughs> James, <laughs> it was ridiculous. James, James, I might be on Nick Stoltz, but I can read it down just to let you know, FYI. <laughs> I was going to say, how much did he get that upside down anyway? <laughs> He's a Russian hacker. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, yeah. hey, uh, off off topic of your uh, vape jam, because I'm jealous. Um, <laughs> one of my neighbors actually asked me if I was baking in my room because I keep vaping out my window to keep from clouding out. And he's sitting <laughs> on his back porch all the time. And he was like, you keep smelling like cake. What the hell are you doing? Because I keep like seeing this cloud coming out of your window. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I swear to God, he, he actually came to my back door. He jumped the fence in my backyard and came to my back door asking if, if everything was okay because he knew I shouldn't be having an oven in my bedroom up here, which is my studio. I was like, I'm vaping out the window so I don't like clog my damn computer up. And he's like, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, I don't what happens at your shop meets, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> well, the first yeah. time we ever had a vape meet, someone came in and thought the shop was on fire. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I had the fire department called on me last year. <laughs> right after I started right after I started my channel, I was sitting at my kid's soccer practice and the fire department showed up because somebody in a house across the street from the soccer field was like freaking out because I forgot to roll all my windows down. I only had like one window cracked. And I started realizing while I was shooting a video on my truck, I was like, what in the hell, man? I can't barely see it. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't have my windows open. Shit. So I rolled my windows down, and it was like this greenhouse cloud came out of my truck. And like four minutes later, the the fire department showed up, and they're like, are you okay? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really know how to respond. It was just like, yeah, I'm vaping. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. He's just one of those guys. So just leave Oh, yeah. Alone. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty much that. Yeah. It was just like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Jared, don't lie. All right, you have an easy bake oven right next to you. Right Fuck yeah, I do. For I didn't. Quick, hey, I didn't get this fat by not eating. Quick cup. Yeah. <laughs> that, that one from Toys R Us that you use as a kid, and you put the dough in that used to cook it. <laughs> what they call dough? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm mass producing brownies over here. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Uh, Speaking of meats, Chris, you got any plans for another one anytime soon? Um, probably after the expo now because it's a little bit too close now, isn't it? Really, but yeah, got three stuff. weeks. Because when when when's the shop birthday? It's September. August. August. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. So I've I've got a serious question now. Why in the hell is Vape Jam so damn close to Expo? I mean, is, is there any reason behind that, or is it just like a springtime thing that they just do? Well, and they most just people go to Expo anyway. That's just yeah. More people, yeah. I mean. Vape Jam was, is not Expo. It never will be. It was laid well, out. No, no, no. I know. That's what I'm saying. I like. I would think it would be more damaging for Vape Jam to be that close to something that big, uh, as far as time goes, because people are gonna people are gonna look at the bigger venue to go to, where there's gonna be more stuff, and they're gonna be more apt to go to that. And having them, they're not gonna want to take the time to go to the little one, and then three or four weeks later go to the big one. You know? Yeah. Probably the, the big it's one. Is, of, the big one's on. central, isn't it? It's more yeah. central UK. Um, whereas London, because of the, the mass volume of people in London, yeah. you know, you do get a, a, a decent attendance anyway. Ah, okay. Um, um, I, I was going to say that it's more about accessibility. Like, a lot of, not a lot of people like inside London like to travel outside London. If that makes yeah. any sense, like, yeah. it's just easy for them to get to the Excel. But believe it or not, like most of the stuff's made in the Midlands and up north anyway. Uh, <laughs> Find a lot of Londoners are like little hermits. They don't like going out the outside the M25 <laughs> ring, do they? I fucking do. I go to a fucking show. I love it. Mate, I can't <laughs> wait for next next like three weeks. Oh my god! Ah, I'm getting Nick. nervous and excited and all that. I got my passport you, already. You Take better be fucking nervous. Ah, and I'm gonna be at 25k as well. <laughs> yep. The main is on order for you, Nick. Uh, and well, see, I lost my shot at going to any show this year. I was going to be going to Denver, but uh, 
but my wife just uh, she's getting ready to change jobs so her vacation time is going to be totally screwed so i'm like well no show for me it's okay i was gonna say jared you, you th we have shows every month here we have let's see this month we have midwest vape expo and i believe um ecc in detroit is coming up relatively soon yeah, and from my from my perspective, the, my only issue is flying because I don't know what it'll do to my ear. So everything that I do right now to test the waters is more driving based. So to go to Detroit's about a twelve, about a ten or twelve hour trip for me. Denver's like eight and a half hours. Um, Cleveland is twelve and a half hours, and then Atlanta or Birmingham. Is it Birmingham or Atlanta, or is it both? Well, Atlanta is the same weekend as Birmingham, UK. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I kept hearing both. Sorry. Um, so yeah, Atlanta, that's what, uh, 21 hours. Oh yeah. Trust me. I wanted to go to Atlanta so bad, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm doing an American show next year. Definitely. You need to Jesus. Yeah. You'd be a freaking hit, man. I think the plan is for next year. We're all going to meet up at ECC when they that's have the one I'm going to in the, the spring. I, I'm, I want to try to go back out there for the, next ECC in California, which is uh, Pomona, I believe. Um, that's where they have it outdoors. And I think they're going to have it outdoors again. So, so what the next, the next spring is going to be in California though. Yeah. The, the spring one next year is going to be uh, probably the same spot in Ontario. Okay. And it's actually not too bad to get out there. I don't know if you, are you going to be able to fly? Do you think, or like, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure a way to test the waters on a short flight somehow, but I, I just don't know yet. Is my just, problem my problem is I was just talking to Ken about this just before I came on the show. My problem is, is, is I've been trying to sweep it under the rug about my health issues because I've been gradually on a decline and I don't like to admit those kinds of things. I just try to persevere over them rather. And it's been so bad that I'm having days to where I can't walk for four hours. And I'm in a, I'm in a split level house. So it's like, you know, running, running my power chair in the upstairs where my studio is, is just not a thing, but all the bedrooms and the bathroom and all that's upstairs. So it's just better for me to stay upstairs. But when I try to walk down my hallway and I fall down, you know, it's kind of a problem. Yeah. So, you know, I don't, they said the doctors told me two, three, two years ago that there was a possibility of, of degenerative nerve failure in my left ear. And the problem is, is because I've had so much head trauma from, a lot of different labor jobs and fights and everything else that my brain has got some concussed damage, which means my, my brain isn't interpreting the signals properly to help my right ear actually compensate for my issues. So that being said, if this year continues to go downhill, I'm only going to get worse. I'm not going to be able to recover unless I let them go and take all the guts out of my inner ear. So Jesus, man, <laughs> not fun, not fun. Go and check the Sabs photo Oh no! <laughs> oh, <God>. oh Jesus! <laughs> and uh, Spider Vape says, "What about trains, Jared?" And you know, I have thought about trains. I actually have. I have thought about trains because they're pretty damned affordable overall. Yeah, they're just not nearly as efficient as trains over in the UK. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> And Believe me, our trains are not that efficient. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> look at the oh, there's some really good uh photoshops right now <laughs> over in the Savs meme group. Hold on, let, let's copy and paste this link one more time. <laughs> well, that's what the day is S, <laughs> S for shed. <laughs> 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 Jay's new van, I love it. Yeah, that's oh good. God. Uh, let me just check this one out here. <laughs> Anti shed drone with a ban hammer missile. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, well, Jared, I, I really hope for the best for you. I really hope we get to actually meet up one of these days. Oh, it'll um, happen. By God, yeah. by God and sunny Jesus, it'll happen. I swear to you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm stubborn, I'm stubborn enough that I'll crawl if I have to. The the UK events kind of screwed up my plans for the rest of the year as far as American shows goes because I can't go to Midwest because it's like a week away from Expo. Yeah. I'm 
probably not going to be able to make, uh, where is it, Mobile, Alabama, because it's two weeks after Expo. And I don't know of any in June or July at this time. I can't remember. But uh, either, either way, then the next one for me would probably be August, which is London Vape Show. And yeah. then I can't really do anything for two weeks ahead or two weeks after that. Um, just because of the way, you know, time off and all that, I really don't want to push my boss that far. <laughs> it's yeah. like, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm going to go to London for like a week. <laughs> Have fun covering the shifts. Uh, yeah, be, well, I'll be the first, be the first um, transatlantic person to have some of the uh, maternal aliens as well. Yay! Because uh, there'll be a nice coil package waiting for you at Expo, mate. Well, I'm going to try to get my juice. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way I could just do this, but like, if I just get like zero milligram and just yeah. send Tom a, a whole box of zero milligram, that might be good for now, just so I can like get it over there. And I'm going to bring a couple of bottles of each flavor and three for like myself and a couple little. You know things for you guys but my goal is to get distribution set up at expo and that way i can have it in the uk with the uk packaging for london vape show that's my goal for blaz boss awesome. smk it'd be good to speak to one because they have a distro out there chris oh stay away uh, <laughs> yeah i've heard some things about smkd as well i mean yeah. i'm not going to get into it i'm not going to get into it but um, I, I have my sights set on someone else for right now, um, and I know a couple of people. And oh, look, Vape Finder's in chat right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's the that's the plan. Uh, and I would like to be able to like kind of have a, a booth, or maybe even just be at the Vape Finder stand or something, or the Bear Flavor stand at London Vape Show. I don't know. Well, you do know if you like, if I ever do Expo. You can sell Blaz. I'll just give you half the stand. <laughs> well, you're not going to have much of a stand then, Chris, because a quarter of it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a massive stand. Let's, let's get a, a, a three by what is it? Three by six. We'll get the main one as people come in. Sod it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got like you got like twenty five grand to spend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up with like thirty two cases of juice ready to sell, and Chris is going to be like, "Here's your corner." Jared, I, I need your address, Jared. Just I'll send you some blaz right now. Oh, okay, shit. <laughs> I need you and Ken. Uh, you, and probably Kimmy Vapes. Who else uh, do I need to hit? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need it. I'll yet. let you guys know how it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Just describe it. Describe it. What I'll give it great like? detail. Blue raspberry and peach. Mmm, <laughs> it's delicious, Chris. Well, I don't want to fucking try it unless it's got Nick salts in there. I was going to say it's no good for Jay unless it's Nick salt to the brim. I'll give you 50 milligram Nick salt. Yeah, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> Jay's going to be standing outside Expo, isn't he? Like, tucked behind the bush or something, going, Nick, did you bring that 50 milligrams? You go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's shit. Shit, goddamn mainline, that shit. Come on. <laughs> Jay just walks back in with a syringe and just goes, Cushy. <laughs> on about syringes, just, just quickly. I couldn't believe that Dimitri said something as stupid as that in that talk. What's that? When when um, Dimitri and Posada were doing their Q&A, Dimitri said something about um, it's more about the delivery system of nicotine. He said you might as you could easily go out and put it in a syringe and just as well inject it into yourself. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, Nic nicotine is a poison. It would kill you. It's in blast. Well, I'm surprised Vinny didn't offer to review it. I mean, that would be hilarious. I'll stick it in him. Oh Jesus! <laughs> and the syringe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I'm, no I'm only a top. No to me. The point he was trying to make from that statement, I believe, would be that. You can put nicotine. I mean, he should have said this. He should should have said you could put it on your skin and just rub it in, and it will give you the nicotine buzz. Yeah, it'll absorb in because that's what they do with the patches, right? Exactly. Yeah. Pharmaceutical yes. grade nicotine. 
it's like when they both said though on the Q and A events, we've pretty much done everything you can now with rebuildables. It's like, yeah, maybe for Dinikin because they're shit, but you know, you could just like build something new. Well, they haven't done everything. That's the thing. There's constantly innovation that's pushing this industry forward. I mean, shit, Chris, you're using a voice controlled mod. Yeah, that, that reads your heartbeat. That's just creepy. My just hello, Chris. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, but mate, that end of that. Oh my god. In my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we've established that um, Shane is the giver, not the receiver. Yep. Shane's a giver. Oh boy. All day, every day, mate. It is your Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> when your mod, when your mod starts to tell you, Talk. just the tip, please. Talk just the tip. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm you loving the thing and it changes color. I, I'm loving that coffee bean hat that Chris is wearing. It's not a coffee bean. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely not a labia. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's steam works. Yeah, now I've got a couple of them. I don't wear them because I do look like coffee beans. Yeah, to be fair, I don't like the company, but the snap badge pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, it looks exactly the same as my hexo would. Oh my god, this has got hit feature on it. You can just hit it and it lights up different colors. And like this no, they made it fuse, so when you drop it, it lights up a different color. <laughs> it's your drop indicator. Spank that mod, Chris. <laughs> You've been a bad mod. Start changing <laughs> colors. It turns like all dark and evil colors. Stop oh, this, me, this review for this is going to be hilarious. They are never, ever going to speak to me again if I do what I'm going to do with this mod. Um... <laughs> They need to have a firmware update for that thing so you can put your own text in. That way, when you hit the mod, it just says, Spank me, Daddy. Talk dirty to me, Chris. Yeah. Oh, do it again. <laughs> you just Mike hit Wilson is asking how many of you have tried the Luxotic. Me. Oh, wait, the new one? Not me. Yeah, they don't like that. say if it's well, the new one or not. That new noisy cricket? Yeah, I'll definitely have that. I like the look of that new one. Yeah, yeah it just, looks I've good. Seen it. I've just seen it. It looks nice. I've heard it's really good. It's going to be a cracking price point as well, I would think. Uh, I haven't heard from Wismac since Chinese New Year ended, so I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, Wismac. Wismac actually sent me an email and said uh, that I'm on their list, but uh, I'll probably have to wait a while. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was like, well, thanks for letting me know, I guess. I mean, <laughs> it's something. It's better than well, yeah, just yeah. being completely ignored. Oh, yeah, dude. Trust me, man. I take any correspondence, good or bad, because at least they know my name at that point. Yeah. Uh, well, it's I, look, funny. I just look at it that way. It's funny because uh, I was in uh, California, and I was talking with my contact from Vepresso, Michael, and he's a, a you know a Chinese guy, and he's like, oh, Nick, Nick, did you see the new smoke stuff? And I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, come over. I'll introduce you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So he, yeah. he brings me over there and introduces me to the, the lady and he starts speaking Chinese with her and he's like, oh, you're all set. They're going to email you when they get back to China. I'm like, okay. And I'm just like <laughs> awkwardly. And then they keep speaking Chinese. And I'm just like, <whistles> yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I still haven't heard anything from Smock, but uh, yeah. I was going to say there's no fucking A. I'll go yeah, right fucking there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> there you bastard. There's an American in the room. I don't know. Jared, do you call it smoke or smock? No, I don't call it smoke because, God damn it, we're not smoking. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, well, why are they yeah. called VOP then? Well, something. <laughs> it's, it's, this has got a shake feature as well. You can shake it and it changes color. It's like a shake weight. Don't shake the baby. <laughs> uh, Chris, I swear to God. Hey, now, hold on. Chris is going to shake it. Chris, now, hold on. Chris is going to do this shit during the review. He's going to be like, look at the light change. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like that, yeah. Like the end of the review. That's not VG. Uh, <laughs> just, like, just drench yourself in, in VG. Just like, oh. Like, it's like, going to be like splash dance. <laughs> Oh, no, do you know what I need? I need to do it outside with the bucket and the pole thing and just fake them on and pull it and just lie back. It's an open. <laughs> Please <laughs> do that. Oh, my God. This is the most crazy. fun thing I've ever had in my life. It's just everything. Stop <laughs> doing that. Please stop doing that. <laughs> Mod wanker. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this. Mod right. with a wank feature, it is. Mod with a wank feature. That's amazing. <laughs> is anybody else at Disco least wank. excited? Is anybody else at least semi excited to get the Aegis dual battery? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Ugh. I'm probably not going to get it, but whatever. Oh, I'm going to buy it. I don't give a shit. I want that mod. 
I'm happy with oh. that one. Well, see, I look, okay, I got mine for free. Oh. And it wasn't it well, okay. Basically, what happened is one of my vaping kids wanted me to order it for him. So I ordered it and the company screwed up and never processed my order. So they they threw a couple extra goodies in for my kid and sent out a new order. And then the day after I got the second order, the first one arrived. Go figure. So I was like, yeah, I was like, um, mine. <laughs> Uh -huh, and they screwed it up anyway because the first one didn't even have a battery and it was supposed to. So I had to go out and buy a battery. And could you imagine? Fine. Could you imagine a waterproof, shockproof, damage-proof Aegis Squonker? Oh my god, mm. dude, that that would be like Fat Boy Heaven for me. Okay, I mean, just Chris uh, is still tossing that mud right up. <laughs> I know he's muted and everything. He's if you take it hard enough, it goes purple. If <laughs> <laughs> it's the wine girl. God damn it, Chris. Save it for the after show. Speaking of, we're we're we've got to wrap things up here in a minute. Oh, uh, Jesus. Are we doing an after show? But more yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll edit mid mid through it as well because I've got an hour and a half worth of vlog still to do. But Chris, can... Chris is going to be editing with one hand and just wanking his mod with the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine after the, re the review, how many puffs have I had on this? Well, hand control. <laughs> oh my god, it works! That's fucking sick. What? Oh, it really does. Like it, it, yeah, you wave on it and then it flashes lights a couple of times. But yeah, that's that's creepy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, I'm gonna have so much fun with this review. Whose channel? Don't mind. Put it on mine again if you want. Do it on whoever's. Stick it on mine if you want and have some content. <laughs> yeah. I thought yeah, but Jay we need viewers, be... Shane. We need viewers. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll have it on uh, Mike's channel then. So, Mike, uh, let me grab your link. Actually, it's down here. I hope it works. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Bye, everyone. Yeah, if you play... stop doing that. If you play with the charge on port, oh my god, it works. Oh my God! Stop Jesus putting your Christ. finger in the hole. He's uh, the hole. hole. You from Hi the clitoris. That link doesn't work. <laughs> Mike, uh, post your link up in the chat right now. Yep. Oh One my sec. God! Uh, look at it go! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <your mind. laughs> look at it go! It's <laughs> Chris, try doing it with your tongue. Uh, yeah. Show. Show. Yeah, yeah. Charge and pull, or a, uh, some sort of bean. Oh, what? <laughs> He's got a, a bean on his mark. head. It is yeah, the first, it's bean. the world's first mob. New from, I love it. Yeah. New from iJoy. Flick the bean. Chris, you have to lick your fingers first. Okay. <laughs> stop, stop. No, I have to show. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, the entire after show, all you're going to see is this. <laughs> oh my god. Photoshop. Photoshop. So can, you imagine, can you imagine the Chinese trying to explain what this does at a UK expo? Watch it. Why do you just lick it? And it and just, <laughs> <laughs> I was just the all the features. features. <laughs> is that the uh, Chris, is it the pleasure model? I don't know. It's like what remember them toys you could get? Like the, the bop it, twist it fucking thing. <laughs> it's like one of them. Vape it, bop it, nicotine, nick salts. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> Jared Shane, uh, both on for the after show. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Cool. I'm so, good if you'll have me, sir. Let's go Let's around. Go Let's go around real quick and we'll uh say our little goodbyes and then we'll pop over into the after show. Ready, go, Shane. All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, I will see you soon. <laughs> All right. Short and sweet. Nice and simple. Yeah. You got a channel, and I did link to it in the description. So if you want to yeah. pimp it, I there's no content. But there's no, there's no content yet. But it is coming. It'll be put. It'll be called Big Boys Builds and Reviews. So there'll be detailed coil builds, atomizer builds, whatever people want to see, um, and along with. Whatever new stuff I buy will be reviewed as well. Fair enough. And on to Jared. Hi. <laughs> Just remember, flick the bean. Use your gesture control. Enjoy <laughs> your mod. Shake that bitch like a bad day. Come on now. <laughs> Kill me too. <laughs> I want to thank the guys for having me on. I know it's been a minute. Everybody's been bugging the hell out of me to get back onto a live show. I'm finally back, guys. Sorry Yay. for the delay. <laughs> oh, it's been it's been a month. It's been a month. Got a lot of content coming up, so check me out on my channel. I'll put a link in the chat your, here. Your channel is flying too, isn't it? 
Yeah, I'm at, uh, 14. I'm 1450 plus. Wow. So crushing it. Well, yeah, well done. done. I just, you know, I do a lot. People, some people like to criticize about, you know, how much stuff I put up and, you know, and it's constructive criticism. Nobody's bashing me, but um, at the end of the day, I'm just a freaking workaholic. I always have been. So I figured, you know, I can't do like a real job. So I might as well have this, you know? I, I mean, I look at it like you're putting in the work and the effort, effort, you know, like not yeah. just spamming content. You're, you're actually doing your job. Like, well, yeah. And it's like, I actually, I, I got to talk to uh, Matt, suck my mod, and he was giving me props about how I was doing the channel and all of that. And it blew me away that he contacted me. I was just like, holy fuck, I, I'm talking to Matt. This is cool. You know? <laughs> I turned all fanboy in the chat and then I, I went back and read it after I got done talking with him. I was like, I am such an asshole. You know? <laughs> so yeah, thanks for having me on guys. Chat's been awesome. Can't wait for the after show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> Mike. Cheers for tuning in, everyone. Cheers for joining us again, Shane and uh, Jared. And uh, we'll see you all on the after show. On your channel. On my channel, yeah. There you go. Jay. Oh, sorry, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> He's all Nick salted out. It's some good shit. <laughs> no, yeah. I know I was late to the show again, but I made it. Um, yes. It's such a like anticlimax now. Chris has stopped doing that. No, <laughs> come back from the show, and you know, I'm starting to like my body's starting to like relax and calm down a little bit. But yeah, I'll be on the after show. Maybe not all of it, but I'll be on it for a little while at least. And yeah, thanks for tuning in as always. Woo! Keep it cloudy. <laughs> Chris, get, get perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> Flick that bean. Flick it. Uh, yeah, guys, cheers for uh, popping in and watching me test the sex toy. But um, yeah, it's been a cool show and after show on Mike's channel. So come over. Uh, if you search White Walker reviews, uh, you'll find it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> remember to build a wall. Always remember to build a wall. But yeah, cheers, guys. See you all next week or on the after oh. show or whatever. Don't forget, Win flick the bean. Winter's coming. That was cool. Don't forget, flick the bean. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag flick that bean, baby. The quicker we can get to this after show, the better. All right. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I guess I should just pimp my my stuff, I guess. Uh, BlazLiquids.com. <laughs> BlazLiquids.com. <laughs> Blaz coupon code DAILYVAPETV for 20% off. Uh, if you need anything from TwistedMesses.com, <laughs> I do have coupon codes for that as well. Daily Vape TV for 10% off everything. And 20% off wire is... Fresh Build Friday. So uh, those are all in my uh, Fresh Build Friday descriptions if you want to go check those out. But other than, blah, 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 blah. Other than that, <laughs> I love it. Other than that, um, yeah, I'm sorry, UK people. No blaz for you yet. Soon, soon. And you better believe it's going to be available at Empire Vape Co. Um, yeah, go check out the Savs meme group if you haven't already. It's a good time. I'll drop the link one last time here. We have some very talented people in chat right now making live photoshops of us being idiots, and it's a lot of fun, so go check those out. Uh, stay tuned for the after show uh, over on Mike's channel. Don't forget to subscribe to me. I'm this close to hitting 25,000 subscribers. Thank you all so very much. I really do appreciate all the support from everybody. So with that being said, we're going to sign out, guys. Have a good one. I'm going to stop presenting, so I don't know. Let's all just uh, blow a cloud at the screen or something. And Nick's up cloud. Stay sexy, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>